Okay, ladies and gentlemen, are you back? Did we get everybody? Sweet mother of Christ, you people and your generosity today. Thank you very much, though, because this is the this is exactly what keeps us all afloat. We um we kind of need this type of generosity in order to keep doing what we're doing. But I'm glad you all are very, very generous. But OK, so we're going to start War Thunder and we're going to play at least the air missions. We're going to see but we're gonna muck around in the naval. But I, I, I did actually get the, the naval star uh, the other night. I just kind of sat there and just did it myself. So I got the, the first uh, first naval and air star. I think I'm just going to give up on the tanks since there isn't going to be enough time and I don't really want them anyway. All right, so I'm trying a game called Chaos Galaxy. Seems to be a turn-based strategy in the vein of a, of a hybrid of Super Robot Wars and Romance of the Three Kingdoms and Advanced Wars. Should be interesting. That's, that's a lot of things, but good luck, sir. Good luck, a dancing fool. But okay, so we start up War Thunder. We're going to get on with this shit. So please hold for one moment. Whew, Jesus. Okay, so today was a very productive day, if I do say so myself. But only halfway done. So let's go back into the bad game and see what we can do. But then again, really, honestly, I, I, I somehow managed a war winning strategy in um, play like an idiot at top tier. And somehow I'm in a position to get more kills than normal. That's it still mystifies me. Bomb runs in the Phantom that somehow wind up being four kill air games. I don't quite get it. I, I mean, I suppose I do, but it's still really silly that that actually fucking works. Okay, all right, so we're ready to go here, so. Hello, folks, welcome back. After a lot of things in our LCraft, we are now back with War Thunder for Operation Summer 2020, Part 2. And, well, we're going to be doing the same thing we did last time, so let's hop up here on the Phantom, since that actually worked. I was trying out the 250-pound or 2,000-pound bombs, and those didn't really seem to do very much. I mean, they drop in sequence? So actually, you know... Actually, you know what? No, I didn't actually get too much data on that. So we're going to try that for a mission and see what happens. So I want to see, because they drop, the outer wings drop at the same time, and then they drop one. So two of those might be sufficient to take out a base. I need to see, because I didn't actually check, because it was kind of goofy. All the other phantoms on my team were running towards, you know, they were all outrunning me towards the bases, and I couldn't really actually do anything. But, hmm. How did it go? Well... Logical Twitch, thank you for your generosity and also le level 5 hype train, but, um, yeah, no, I think, um, that server might be just, we might need a restart, but we will attempt, I'm sure that Chivaxi will attempt to rebuild that base, God bless him. However, um, you know, maybe we should make a game out of that, maybe. Maybe we should have a game where Twitch integration is off, or either a day where it's off and we build defenses and gather materials, and then we open the doors for complete chaos and try to defend. Interesting idea. But that's not my monster to debate what to do with. I will now go play bad games. Ooh, like a chat right. Kind of? Yeah. Whereas we build, a, we build a castle on sand, and then we say, Okay, guys, try and kill us. And then you spy fi spawn five dragons on our heads. You would get destroyed, though. I would think that once we got all of our stuff, we'd actually have a reservoir of equipment to continue, like, taking and see how long we could last. Something like that. Sort of like the Twitch spawns basically just being a horde mode spawner. I mean, if it spawns on top of us, we're kind of fucked, but you get what I mean, right? You just, you know, we build for we build some kind of fortification, we build, you know, we, we stockpile resources and end tier armor, and then we attempt to kill literally everything you throw at us. Sounds like fun to me, but the only problem is that it's entirely run by just money. So, maybe a bit one-sided for us in the end, but... Well, you would see you would see a handful of streamers attempting to kill five dragons that were spawned directly on top of them. Maybe have a positive setup for the super uh, uh, a positive set a positive set for the setup stream, and then on survival mode set it up so it's all negative. Something I suppose. 
Something like that? Get what we need, actually, you know, build our fortresses and whatnot, and then actually just open the floodgates and, well, try to survive. That's a good-looking jet. This is the Phantom with the Gundam skin again, which I forgot that I had on. I had it turned off. So I'm a saberfish, kinda. I'm assuming that FGR bombed the- actually, no, he didn't kill everything. Well, looks like it's up to me. And clunk. And then... Alright. Then, that bombs out. That's only about half. Two of those might be able to kill a base, but oh well. Okay, so that's one ton out of ten. 1.2, but I think, honestly, um... It's probably doing better with the cone bombs, just dumping them all on one target and running away. So... You got that hospital real good. They're valid military targets. They were. This was declared a free fire zone. I am in no way harming innocents or non-combatants. But okay, so, okay, so what's going on up here? Everybody's kind of moving around. I don't see anybody above me or behind me. There's a couple of guys over here. I want to actually keep low. So you know what? Maybe I can kind of skirt the. Just kind of skirt the cliff so those guys over there that are at low altitude can't see over the cliff and come get me. Just kind of sneak out and see how this plays out. Because I'm still- I still have four air in the air missiles, so I can still fight. So just kind of... How far can I zip in this direction? Pretty fucking far. Okay, so they're all kind of meeting in high altitude. Or rather, medium altitude, I suppose. Right, so there we go. Let's try to go over here. I think I should be behind anybody who's over here now. You can ping them on radar. I think I see him. Nope, that's not him. Alright, nothing but them, so let's get in there. My, ente my entire team immediately collapsed, so I okay, I guess I'm going in spamming missiles and see how many I can fucking get. Alright, here we go. Well, come on. Box. That appeared to detonate above the target? Thanks. Um... My missile's pre-detonating? Okay, I got one. Splash one. Box. That looks good. Oh! Well, I got one. Not really gonna work out when my entire team died, so well, moving on. Not a terrible first game. But... What am I to do when my entire team dies horribly? I don't know. Alright. Moving on. Moving on. There was no way I was actually gonna do anything really all that productive after my team died horribly in the first, like, two minutes. So, moving on. Okay, so let's see our achievements while we're waiting here. It is... Okay, so we're on this one today. And... Alright, so we're on the board with bombs. I did get a crit there. That'll probably wind up being a kill if that guy actually dies, which he probably will if I hit him. So... Hmm. Gonna have to get lucky with the four air kills battle. Again, or we're gonna be doing the long road of kills and then wins and then dropping bombs. Your boy got an interview tomorrow morning. Wish me luck. Well, good luck, Cocky. And also, I just realized that, huh, the button for my, hmm, where did that go? The, the button that moves my armrest back and forth just fell out. I did that before, and I put it back in, and it seemed like it locked into place, but now it's gone again, and that's kind of unfortunate. All right, so, cone bombs. Yeah, see, J's and not the E's. All right, good. Uh, 
What's this man's plan? He can get kills, but what is his plan? Do not knock the... the biplanes and jet battles. You can actually get kills like that. And you probably will if the enemy is stupid enough to come directly at you. D did I miss the RLF RL craft section? Yes, you did, Titan. It was sheer chaos, but we made away pretty good, I think. Shavaxi's base is entirely destroyed, and all that work went to naught. However, I managed to get endgame items and quite, quite a lot of diamond blocks into an alternate reality where they are safe. Until next time. Also, yes, five withers. Alright, so... Who do what now? Mig? 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 Okay, good. I've got a bunch of migs. So I'm clear to actually bomb this base. Alright, so that's a mig over there. So I'm clear to dump my ordnance on this base and start looking around for targets. Make sure I'm not going too fast or I won't be able to get rid of the ordnance. And... Oh! Ah! Uh, right, I remounted my salvo key. Wait, what? What the fuck? Two of those do, does that much damage? Hold the fuck on here. I remounted, because I was experimenting with bomb loads, I actually remounted my salvo key to just three instead of space bar, so now I'm pickling single bombs off. So that's three of those? I mean, two of those? What the fuck? I could take out way more shit. Okay, hang the fuck on here. I guess we're geeking out all the goddamn bases. I didn't know that cone bombs did that much damage. I mean, shocking because you never actually do bombing and phantoms at higher tier because that's that's stupid. Why would you do that? All right, so they're all over there. So I'm actually clear to bomb all these bases. So it's two a base. So I ain't fine. We'll do two a base. The enemy is winning. Clunk clunk. And then... clunk. That's probably like two and a half tons. Just under. A little bit more work than usual, but okay, fine. Okay, so now we go over here and help my teammates, since I'm kind of in a... I'm in an okay position to kind of just hop on these guys. Hopefully no one drops on my head, though. Okay, this phantom. Who is steaming right the fuck at me, which might be a problem. Whoop! Ah! Well, he's on fire too. Oh well, that's one kill though. Actually, two kills. Oh well. Looks like we're gonna win too, so there's that. That's probably my first win. Alright. Splash one, bombs off. No problems. This is just gonna be like throwing shit at a wall for a couple of hours until we get this done, but... It's easy. Okay, actually, grab that. Back in the queue. Well, immediately. All right. Doesn't really matter, I guess. I'm not really missing much because the air realistic battles at top tier are really incredibly low substance anyway, so... It's not like we're missing an immense amount of gameplay by doing this, but this is, hmm, this is the opposite side from last time. We, usually, we were getting this side repeatedly, so I'm not exactly sure how this is going to go, but I think if I just kind of drop over there... This beeline it straight for the base right over here would be fine. Hmm, Black Phantom. There's their skin, though. Well, um... 
Most of them have bombs. Aside from probably the ones in the front. Mine. Also, is it worth trying to get the, the Leopard C1? I have no idea. It looks nice, but I have no idea. I'm not even sure the armor kit will hold out, because armor doesn't fucking exist at top tier. Everyone, it's kind of... You see the guy, you point your gun at him, all of the guns are so fucking powerful, they just go right straight through everything that they shoot at. So it's basically a hide-and-go-seek thing, and I'm not exactly sure how weighed down Leopard 1 is going to do very good. Depends on what rounds it gets, I suppose, in terms of making, you know, being able to kill things. That's the only thing I can really... I, top tier gameplay is more or less just hide-and-go-seek with laser pointers. You see the guy, they fucking die. So, I'm the only thing I could say with... It's a modernized Leopard 1, so if... The gun might be kind of substandard, but if it's not, then there's no real problems. The only problem is the armor might slow it down because it's just a Leopard 1, but I don't know. Looks complicated. Okay. I'm going to say three bombs on this base, just to be sure. Clunk, clunk, clunk. Whoa! A little close there. So just get the F-11 then? I think so. I mean, it's probably not going to be the most amazing thing ever, but it'll, it looks cool, and that's about it. Alright, fuck it, I'm dumping these bombs. He hit that base, we're out. Actually, no, he didn't. Oh, well. I got a dragon to fucking deal with, though. I ain't turning with that guy. Our victory is near. I'd like to have my missiles, please. I am not getting lucky with head-ons today. I am really not getting lucky with head-ons today. Yeah, well. You were aiming too low. Ah, right. Right. Which is weird, because that should actually tell me where the fuck it's going to go, but I guess I have to guide by tracers in that situation. Oh well. That might be something I have to actually work on, or rather, look out for. Because that's not terribly well implemented, honestly. I mean, yeah, sure, it works for ground targets, but you'd think that, because I'm aiming at the ground, it should show me... should be accurate, but... Eh. I, I guess I have to pay attention to that, and just guide by tracer. Just cover the target with tracers and hope to god it actually hits. Alright, so... where are we now? Pilots... Okay. Well, I guess I'll look at it next game. At least they're coming quick. This is the... this is the... one of the bonuses of top-tier gameplay. It's... really fast in terms of turnover. You can keep playing games as long as you want. Even if you get shit out immediately, you'll just leave the queue and you you just hop back into the hangar and then just jump back into the queue and you're fine. So, um, that's one of the upsides, I suppose. The only problem is I wish it was a little bit more substance because it, you really just don't really do very much per game. Okay, uh, that is two kills. Um, actually, no, but it's two. It's, uh, so, so it's one kill. Oh, well. Bombs. Three, almost four tons of bombs. We're gonna get that real fucking quick. Also, we shall see here, because this is going to be a bit odd. Maybe I'll run straight down the beach this time, because going, going over the center of uh, the control points did not yield very good results. Going, well, the, so going over there to try to avoid the kill ball over in here, this direction did not go, the, go well the last time I played this. So let's just try skirting the beach and see what we can do.
thrown off the radar. Maybe we'll have a use for that next match. The rumors are sparrows are going to be in there, finally. Radar-guided weapons for everyone. And then potentially Era 7 aircraft. Not sure what they're going to give the Americans, but MiG-21 MiG BIS is on the table, and that shit is fast. So I wonder. I, I do wonder. But I guess we'll see. Basically, by the end of the month, we'll know what the next patch is. The summer event is a distraction that keeps us going until we actually get that, that patch actually gets in. Can I get a side lock? Can I get a side lock? Can I get a side lock? I can. Hang on. That's never going to fucking track, though. Yeah, no. Go get that kill, weeb. Yeah, I'm going to be flying basically directly over everybody, but hopefully I'm moving too fast in the opposite direction for anybody to really give a fuck. Yeah, clunk, 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 clunk. Some of those will hit the base. Right, good. I didn't get the ground pepper at all, but I just kind of just went with it. The enemy's getting closer to victory. All right, bomb's gone. Gotta watch that Meg. Try to disengage, but watch the Meg. He's probably gonna fire an R60 fucking at me. Unless he's saving his missiles for some bizarre reason, but then again, I do have flares. But I, I never feel like I can actually really rely on them all that much. Which I know that MiG is still gaining on me. MiG-21 bis been denied for the next patch. No, no, I don't know. The only thing they denied is that we're not getting a Tomcat. Shock and amazement. That's the only n complete... Th that's the only um, actual de denying that I've actually seen. So we're not getting a Tomcat, which that was kind of stupid to even expect that we ever get that this early. I mean, even with the phantom jump here, that's a little ridiculous. Splash one. Okay, then. Good. BF-109! Yeah, I'd rather not fly into the fucking ground trying to kill the BF-109. Someone's got me radar pinged. It's probably that phantom. So can I get a frontal aspect lock on an F on a BF-109? Or, you know, I could just kind of... Could I? Could I? Should I? Oh, he got me. Good on him, because that was a 50-50 chance. That's why head-ons are a risk. But okay, whatever, I got two kills. But anyway, I'm still alive. Whatever. You see, you can get kills like that, but oh well. Try slaving the IR seeker to the radar lock sometime. I do do that occasionally, but it's not really all that worth it to kind of fumble with the interface, I, I find. And sometimes I just don't get the right radar target. And then I have to keep fuddling around with the actual seeker. But I'm still able to fly if I just get some speed under my wings. I might be able to hock a missile at someone and giggle. That's still two air kills for me. That's still my event. So no big problems there. Yeah, it's a little embarrassing to be shot down by BF-109, but at, in the end, durability for aircraft doesn't really change all that much. His cannons are still about as effective as anyone else's cannons. There really isn't a big difference between him shooting at me and the enemy shooting at me. So in the end, head-on's a head-on, and he was always going to get that head-on. It was either I ignore him, or I actually, you know, try and kind of get the head on and duck out. I could have got it and got away with my skin, but the point is that he's so slow, he's always going to be able to turn and face me. That's the thing. The faster you go, the more setup time the enemy has when they're in a slower plane, which is how biplanes can still get kills at top tier. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
Now, unfortunately, I can't bring the fucking nose over, or rather, bring the wing over. I'd be able to fucking right the plane and then maybe have a chance at landing. Actually, well, I can. It's just that it's going to be... Huh. Okay. Just, just, just trim it out. Just, just trim it out. Just trim it out. Yeah, just... Actually, I'm... Do I count as dead? Yes, I count as dead. So if I hit the map boundary, I'm going to die. So I actually have to turn around. Uh-oh. Spin! Nope, nope, nope. Up, 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 up. Good, Phantom. Good. Okay. Very gently. Firmly grasp it. Now I'm dead. Firmly grasp it. Actually, no, they're all dead. We already won, so I'm still alive. Ha! Huh? I'm probably going to die before the game ends. No, actually, no, I'm in. Okay, good. I totally flew this back to base, guys. Yeah, totally flew back to base. Yep. Totally made it back to base. No problems. See, the, the carrier's right over there. I'm good. Everything's fine. Where are we? Pilots. Okay, so six kills, uh, two victories, halfway to bomb tonnage. I mean, these are still going to be kind of silly, but uh, well, this is going to be I this shockingly, this is actually kind of hard to get unless you're playing something like the F-89D and you're just kind of splashing targets. Getting four kills, though, we'll see about that. But halfway to bomb targets, and then we just got to do raw kills and wins, worst case. Or maybe just get one really lucky game and knock four people in the head with sidewinders. I've done it before. He only got to get four kills achievement. Fucker stole my kill while he was while he was burning. But hey, three three kills still. Yeah, welcome to events where the awful players come out in spades that are even more awful than usual. I managed to do it for the first medal. I did too, out of nowhere really, while bombing, and I did. I, then I did. I think three more four kill games after, or rather, three in total. Two more after the first one. So that was a silly night. Also, there are multiple bomb targets here, which means we're probably going to be able to get off more ordnance. It's there. I know it's there. So I'm going to go this way. So I think these have more ordnance than usual, so I'm actually going to have to see exactly how many I have to pickle off. I'm going to say three. To see over the fucking bow shock for a second, because Jesus Christ. I don't see any dots, so but there's cloud cover, so eh. Yep, two dots. Fuck you guys, you know what I'm doing, and I know what you're doing. 
I won't leave. I won't shoot at you if you don't shoot at me. Very simple trade. There's only okay. So there's one guy going for that one. So I'm getting this base. Very simple trade, guys. We all know what we're doing, and what we're doing is playing the game inside the game. Okay, so pickle, pickle, pickle. All right. What are we looking at? Good it's four. But that's a sizable amount. So basically, yeah, just dump it. When I get one of these four maps, just dump all the ordnance on one base. Not worth it to go around. Just fucking just dump all the bombs. Go home. So fuck it. I could save that extra two bombs, but fuck it. Just make sure it's dead. All right, then. Now we go for air kills. Try to get out from under these guys. That's a mirage, though. Can I get that lock, though? Come on, come on, come on, come on. He's in the fucking clouds. Nope. Nothing on that guy. Come on, you son of a bitch. Get out of the clouds. Ugh. I think I can get that just reversal on him. Nope, no, I can't. Nope, that ain't gonna work. Get the fuck out of there. Oh, great, there's an F4 there. That's just... Uh oh Ah, nope. Damn it. Oh, well. In the fucking clouds. Couldn't get my missiles on him, and couldn't get my gun on him, because that's the problem with the Phantom. If I was in a MiG-21 or another Mirage, it would have been way easier to actually get my guns on him, but that's the problem with the Phantom. You can't really get the guns on him in a very delicate situation. You basically have to come in on the perfect vector, or you die. Or rather, you're just not going to hit the target. So, you had your ballistics computer on again, watch it, but I'm not pointing at the ground at that point. But eh, oh well. I got my bombs off. The kills will come, eventually. Okay, so this map, actually, we're going to go this way because everyone rushes this way from this side of the base. So we're going to go that way. I want the F-14A. Well, yes, it is a nice plane. However, the engines are going to be underpowered and it's not really going to be that great of a plane. And also, don't fucking stall it. So the F-14A is not really that amazing of a plane, even if it looks really fucking cool. You're better off, actually, with the F-16A or the F-15A. At least those things are... Kind of acceptable for what they are, out of the box. The F-14A has teething problems. The worst you're going to have to deal with is Block Zero F-16As with only having Sidewinders. Skies are clear for the moment. Oh, there's a dot. 
we're gonna try and duck him. This is the obvious path, but most of the other guys are going straight at the bombing target, so if I go down there and attempt to flank around from that direction, I'm just gonna get shot. What? Only one guy and he's already engaged. Alright, good. We might actually break through. Alright, good. They all decided to fuck right off. That's great. Good, so they all went high or went the other way. So good. I had no resistance coming in. That's just fantastic. So this is the older maps that don't have the stronger bomb points. So I'm going to take two bombs or two drops per target. I should be able to hit all of them if they actually let me do that. So, one, two. Right, okay, two per base. Should be able to get all of them, actually, at that rate. I got the ordinance for it, I just need to actually be left alone for a little bit. Yeah, one, two. Actually, no, only have two left. Oh, well. Those are a little far, but, yeah, plenty of bomb tonnage. One and a half. That'll, that'll, that gets bomb tonnage done real fucking quick. And then... One. It's about a half. I'll bring us up to 172. Not bad at all. All right, so we got a bunch of phantoms at low level. See if we can actually get a lock on one of them. Let's see. That guy has no dance partner. He didn't get shit. I didn't get shit. Now I got this fucking MIG to worry about. God damn it. Always more guys than when I see. Yep! And now the mix right behind me. Nope. Break here a little bit. Five and a half. Flaps. Nope. No luck with the kill balls today. Actually, 1.93? What? I'm getting more bombing tonnage than I thought. No luck with the kill balls at all today. Alright. Moving on. So where are we? Bombing must already be... Yeah, fucking 8 tons of bombs. We're already done with bombing. Two games, if my teams hold out, I'll be able to get that. Hmm. Top tier does not look all that fun today. A lot of FGRs all of a fucking sudden. Not sure why, but a lot of FGRs all of a sudden. So, well, I'm just gonna bash through it with bombs. We're having a little less luck than last time, but... Oh, well. Maybe the other strategy will work this time. Maybe everyone's adjusted down to bombing. And we can probably get some kills going up now. It's weird. Because it was weird the first time, but now maybe people have adjusted to it, and now we just flip the switch and go back the other direction. We won't need bombs after this run, most likely.
Well, going around the long way. How'd you get the blue afterburners? It's a custom skin, so the person who made the skin turned the afterburner. They added the afterburner files for this uh, plane to make them blue, which is nice. Slowly over the sound barrier, because that's what happens when you have ordnance. Looks like... Yeah, the frontliners are going straight through and attracting most of the enemy team. Looks like going around was the right option, even if it's going to take a bit. Except that guy's going for my base, but I'll, I guess I'll get to drop all of my bombs on the enemy runway and call it a day. I think the runway counts as a base, in which case I'm going to get more for actually hitting it because I won't have to deal with the base dying. And yep. No way he didn't drop bombs. Where are the bombs, though, EJ? Where, where are the bombs, though, EJ? EJ, where are the bombs? Can he fuck up his bomb run? He going too fast? You have a ballistics computer. Why do you have any problems? He's going back down on it, so I'm assuming he's dropping his bombs again. Right? Right? There you go. Okay. He must have fucked up and been going too fast. Flack might get you. Well, Flack is always a risk. Okay, so just speed in, under Mach 1, drop the bombs on the runway, and then go back up there. And... Bombs away! Actually, just hold three. Get rid of all of them. Alright, good. Oh, right. Two tons. I must have been looking at the wrong person the last time. I look for gold and I think myself, but nope. That's the people they randomly throw in a squad with me. So that has two tons of bombs. Not bad. Not bad at all. That ain't gonna kill the base, unfortunately, but oh well. That's... Yeah, it's... Actually, that's the bombing run completed. So now it's just air kills. Where the fuck are they? I have no idea. That's the AI targets. Our bases just got bombed, so... Of course they're fucking hiding. The only problem is... Hell if I'm gonna get a, a signature at all. 
Because, yes, we have incredibly long-range radar. The only problem is we will never be able to pick anything up, says Gaijin's gameplay balance. That's the AI targets. Where the fuck's our planes, though? I see a dot over our runway. That probably is him. But fuck if I'm actually going to pick up something like that. Oh, there's one. And my radar staring right at him, but am I going to get that? No. Come on. Eh, there's a lock. Fox 2. I need the goddamn second one, because I don't trust that. Fox 2. That one looks better. And... Splash 1. Well, our base is being attacked. That means there's at least one over there. Did he just call me a camper? Okay, no. I guess somebody camped the runway and got a kill. Valid strategy. Welcome to the shit game. This F4 might actually get this kill. However, if he doesn't... Come on. Get that kill, buddy. Nope, he fucked up. All right. Box two. Ooh, that actually looks good if it actually gets in there. He's low and slow. He, that's actually going to plow right the fuck into him. Oh, he flared at the last possible fucking second. All right, that's him. He's in the ground. You can deal with them. Nowhere on target. Thanks, Bowshock. Alright. Last missile. Box two. He's flaring, but the missile's following him. Nope. Didn't track right. Kill assist, right? Oh, well, I got an assist. That's one of the medals. Where is he? There he is. Oh, yeah, of course it's a mirage. Why wouldn't it be a mirage? He's probably out of missiles, though. I can't imagine he was in combat and didn't and had all. Then oh, that just failed to track. Thanks, son. I was actually flying. That's the sun that fucked that up. <laughs> you don't have any more missiles, though. He saved both of his fucking magics? Why the fuck do you... Why do you not use those? Those are there to make your life easier and pick up kills faster. Why wouldn't you use those? No sense turning around to fight that guy. Oh! Well, hey there! If we don't do something fast, the enemy will win. Also, fuel. Well, actually, I had just realized my afterburner is completely fucked, so oh well. Hi there, sir. Hello there, sir. Welcome to the event. Yeah, I'm a bastard, but we're playing for free planes. My conscience is clean, because you know what? I actually have a reason to play this plane now. Kills are kills. There is no honor in this event. There never was. Oh, damn it. Oh, well. He got his shotgun spray out before I did. I was trying to conserve rounds, maybe try to get it on target, but whatever. I got a kill. All right, two kills. Turn your ground target computer off. Shall I join you in the F-104? It's faster if I just run through this myself, so leave me be. Oh, 
But then again, I suppose I won't have to have the, the the target on because I won't be bombing anymore. I got I got that, so I don't have to deal with the the reticle bouncing out. But the problem is the reticle, the normal reticle, isn't in line with the, where the gun is anyway. That's sailors. Uh, let's see here. Right. So, uh, ten tons of bombs done and over with. Now we can probably concentrate on probably getting more kills and victories. We have not won a single match. Uh, we're probably gonna win that match though. We're probably gonna win that match. That match looked like it was going our way, or at least a little bit on our way. Chancy, but. There are the Jays. Good. No problem. Now we're in, now we're air to air, and let's go up to high altitude and see if we can jump on a bunch of phantoms that are trying to bomb. So now we don't need the fucking ballistics computer anymore, but yeah, that seems to be causing me problems today. But you'd think, hey, ballistics computer. Would it be nice if I had a radar ranging gun sight? Nope. Not there yet. But okay. So, um... Off goes that. Don't need that anymore. Now we're just pure air to air. Ground is not rewarding us the meme kills it did before. But oh well. Now we just need to get a shitload of kills and wins. Actually... Well, frankly, we'll just get a shitload of kills, and then if we get enough, sh we get get enough kills in one big burst, then we're done. Thirty degree climb. Now we go back to the normal way of doing things, into the designated grid square. which hopefully there's a bunch of FGRs and Phantoms on their team, also EJs, that just don't plan on really playing the game. EJ over there, but that guy's already fucking dead way over in that corner. Two kills for our side. Right off the bat. Good job, guys. I prefer the FGR over the E. The FGR is actually better, and so is the EJ. The E is actually the worst phantom out of that bunch. Because the... You know, the, the foreign models got upgrades before they were actually delivered. The E is just the base model. The E and the, the EJ and the FGR are actually just upgraded. I'm not exactly sure where the fuck why the fuck they took away my Agile Eagle, Eagle upgrades. I like my turn fla flaps, please. I like my slats. Those were quite nice. Box 2. Don't think I'm going to get that guy, but you know, well, stranger things have fucking happened. That is a front aspect lock. That is a front aspect lock. Actually, no, it's not. I was, he was just traveling away. Never mind. Console player. I've killed him. But scratch one. Oh, actually, it's going to be bad to be a console player now with the having to look around thing. Yeah, no. Yeah, that got fucked the spotting system. I agree with that guy entirely. I'm sorry, sir, but that's just how it goes now. You have to pay attention. You have to be a fucking... You have to be as aware as a fucking hawk in order to actually avoid shit. Box, that looks good. Splash two. Uh oh. No, sir. No magics. Woo! Uh oh. Oh, that's coming to me. Woo boy. Nope. Uh oh. Woo! Oh! 
Ah, damn it. A billion missiles, but hey. Two kills, not bad. Too many enemies is on the, on the enemy team is the problem. My side didn't get enough kills. There's too many guys running around with missiles. Also, wait a minute, wasn't that? Was that? Did I miss that? No, it wasn't. If you launched an R-550 at, at that Mirage, you probably would have gotten them. Cyborg didn't have the range. It also can pull harder. Oh, box. So, yeah, the... Oh, hey, boats. Oh, hey, boats! Neat. I don't want to play the American Navy right now, but hey, boat... Something that isn't backups. Wow. But yeah, so the E is actually really old, not that great. I'm kind of, it's really, in terms of upgrades and what's going on right now on top of meta, it's really not all that amazing. It's kind of actually probably on the lowest ring here on the totem pole for 10.3 aircraft. It's, the J's are great, but they're, the R60s are better, and then the Magics are better than the R60s. So we don't have the best missiles. We're not maneuverable because I'm not a Delta Wing fucking little light, 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 light interceptor. And only next patch will have the Sparrows, which may actually be what we need. May. So this is why I keep saying the Phantom doesn't really have a point. And especially the E feels like it's... I feel like they probably should have given the Americans two Phantoms. When they added the E, of course. Because the EJ is better and the FGR is better. So what the fuck do I get here? What am I really doing aside from actually playing an objectively worse plane? What are you doing launching rockets on the damn runway? Console player, all you need to know. Yep, that guy who's now crashing. Way to go, console player. Forty packet loss. Oh no. We're actually going to try and use the radar over here, because this is where we run into fucking problems. Leave us console players alone, lol. I'm actually kind of interested, because I feel like this game would be even more easy mode on consoles for some reason. You know, in some aspects, but also painfully fucking annoying on others. Like, the way combat is moving towards missile combat actually favors the controller, because it doesn't really put too much pressure on the controller. However, needing to look around actually does. But then again, I suppose you have two analog sticks. I really have no idea what War Thunder thinks it's going to do on a console with the ever-increasing complexity and gameplay. You're gonna run out of buttons real fucking quick on a console. Hmm? Got me a spike. I think it's that EJ. Friendlies. Okay, he's at 20 kilometers. Yep, in the clouds. Now, you see, if I had a fucking sparrow, I'd be lighting this guy up, but oh well, maybe next patch. I think it's the Mirage? No, there's two planes in there. That lock got really fucking sketchy, but... Probably, frankly, probably would have hit the Mirage at this point. Looks like it's an EJ, I think? Well, now it's on the Mirage. There's another plane in there. I don't know where the fuck it went, though. Okay, so there's your radar cage. I'm in the fucking clouds, though, so not like I'm going to do very much. Okay. F-100. Oh, God! What the f- The Seeker burned out the moment I wanted to fire. Oh, hello. Flash one! The enemy is 
Nope. Nope. I ran out of cannon ammo is why, but oh well. I was suffering from 390 packet loss. Yeah, that's basically the servers, but I poked that guy. He might drop dead. You're planning that your overpowered phantom isn't overpowered as the two other overpowered phantoms? Fujiko, the phantom is not overpowered. Shut your goddamn mouth. That is- that's a lie. The phantom is not overpowered. The MiG-21 and the Mirage have decisive advantages over the phantom in basically every regard. There's a minor increase in thrust for the phantoms, but here's the problem. I have the phantom with the least amount of thrust. I'm not overpowered. The game is definitely the MiG-21 to an extent the Draken, but the Draken's kind of gimp for being so extreme. But the Mirage and the MiG-21's game. That's- that's the meta right now. It's MiG-21s and Mirages. If you have any other opinion that the Phantom is actually running this, it's not. Jesus fucking Christ. Sit here and play this. Sit here and play this and tell me, oh, I can kill literally everyone with my not the best missiles and turns like shit because I'm a bigger plane. I mean, it turns pretty acceptably all, all considered in terms of basically a plane, but the other planes are Delta Wings, which are specifically made to turn really well. The only time the Delta Wing has actually put itself in a critically bad position is after, like, two or three turns without gaining more energy. The Phantom makes one turn, and then you really have to- you either had, have had to kill the guy, or you're in fucking trouble. You make that second turn, you're gonna fall out of the fucking air, and if there's anyone around you, you're dead. So... Do not tell me that the Phantom is overpowered. I'd know if it was overpowered. I have an F-89D. I know what overpowered looks like. This is not overpowered. And in fact, the maneuverability is actually probably noted by the developers, because that's the only reason I have flares and no one else has flares. They could put flares in the MiG-21 and the Mirage. And the Draken as well. Do they have flares? No. Why? Because they don't need them. So, this plane... This plane's designed to basically enter a situation, or rather enter an airspace, and then just start fucking locking up targets at long range, and then maybe kind of proceed into a, into a dogfight. However, um, historically, in Vietnam, Phantoms weren't terribly great in dogfights initially, because, uh, MiG-9, you know, tiny little MiGs are kind of, kind of hard to kill in this kind of plane, unless you actually have your missiles to actually kill the targets. A dogfight? Suicidal. Which is why we lost so many goddamn phantoms. Still, basically won the air war. However, a lot of embarrassing losses for the uh, the army and air force, or the air force and the navy, because this plane can't do that kind of fighting. The MiG twenty one, the Draken, the Mirage, they can still do that. This thing can't. Not really true, goon. Well, mostly. The Phantom works best with a teammate in a dogfight. Yes, because it can't get the fuck out of the way. The other, like the MiG-21 and the Mirage are reactive enough that they can turn around and continue to engage multiple opponents. They can bounce two guys at once. This thing can't. But the thing is, it's designed to not really get into that fight because... See those fucking holes? We're supposed to be able to nail the enemy before we even get into a dogfight situation. We don't have those, which means we're playing somebody else's game. Hmm. So let's see what we're doing here. Anybody up at high altitude? There's that guy, who's dead. Anybody up here? See that guy, that phantom already? I could have locked him up and actually shot at him if I had fucking sparrows. I wouldn't have to get in here and do this. 
But he looks like he's turning. Yes, that's his afterburner. All right. Box. Nice little twirl there. However, though, that missile's still probably going to knock him right in the face. Actually, looks like he managed to dodge. Hmm. Also, be wary, wary of that radar because it locked onto a friendly. And if I wasn't paying attention, that would have probably actually hit a friendly if it was a radar guided missile. To the base. However, it looks like the enemy team is folding like a house of cards. Yeah, no, they're all dying like mooks. Okay. Also, in Nam were 99% training, and the USAF used their gigantic wall to make the F4E when the C didn't work too well. Turns out, 95% of the pilots didn't know how to deal with a lighter, more agile opponent because they'd never trained against any. Because that's not what the Phantom is designed to do. The plane is not designed to do that either, which is why they didn't train. So yes, it was a problem of training, too. This is why people like Robin Olds were sitting there going, Good God, guys, do not try to get into a gunfight with these people. He told, he told your new pilot straight up, do not take a gun pod, you will get killed. Fox. This is what the Phantom excels at, because that's what it's designed to do. That tracked on, that tracked on a missile. I'm pretty sure that just tracked on a missile. But this is, the Phantom isn't designed to be a dogfighter, because we didn't think we were going to be doing dogfights with, you know, the advancements in missiles and radar-guided weaponry. Vietnam told us, no, we were going to do that, or we have to account for that risk. Modern situation currently is a little different, but it's still basically the same general idea. Missiles overtook guns. Having a gun is still great. Ooh, good. I got it out after the flares. And then that guy shows up, but oh well. Fine, I got a kill. And the enemy team is... He's already dead. That's the game. So yeah. It wasn't the gun the USAF needed, it was the training to use it. Actually, no, it was the gun, because, like, even in Ro Robin Olds, like, you know, History Channel dogfights here, there, you know, they pointed out once where well, Robin Olds was doing his dogfighting that, you know, if he had a gun, he probably would have shot the guy he was fighting, and it was apparently a North Vietnamese ace. So he kind of had to wig the guy until he actually, yo, but just, yo, actually managed to get a missile kill on him, but, you no, know, having a gun is a really good thing. Training, yes, but... Also, the Phantom is not designed to do that. Rather, it's not necessarily intended to do that. It's it's a truck. It's a P-47, but with, you know, air ordnance and also ground ordnance. It's supposed to not really get into a dogfight. It's supposed to end a dogfight before it ever actually starts. At the same time, we were doing things like air-to-air air air, air -air nuclear missiles. Why? Because... You're not going into a Russian bomber formation expecting the dogfight. You'll just get shot to pieces. And we need to get rid of those bombers now before they reach their target. Cold War speeds up shit. A dogfight is a really kind of slow engagement in comparison to, like, World War II dogfights versus this. So, yeah. Training, yes. And this is where Top Gun came out as well. They needed training to deal with lighter targets, but they were they didn't receive training in the first place because the Air Force and everyone else had decided that, well, the missiles are going to kill everyone. And so they designed planes to just huck missiles really well, which the Phantom can do real good. The only problem is I don't have half of them. The Phantom was a misguided evolution of World War II era tactics. They expected speed and altitude to be king. Speed is still technically a good thing, but at this point, weapon systems are frankly king. You can have whatever you want. You you can you if you you know if you have a prop plane that shoots a million dollar missile, you can still kill things rather effectively. It turns out that missiles rever reverse that. You can't leave a yeah, a, a visual range fight with heater when heaters are, are in. Not really, yeah, no. You're not that, and that's the major problem I have with the Phantom and why I was so pissed off with it from the beginning with the C. You can't run. You can't really run. It doesn't really run. It's not fast enough. The only way you can get real the only way you can run is if you never lose speed, period. And that's an incredibly difficult way to fight. And also, with missiles, with, you know, with flares not necessarily being surefire, 
you're going to have to turn to shake off those missiles, and therefore you will bleed speed. The other guys, they'll accelerate faster than you because they're lighted planes. Because they're lighted, little light interceptors. They go up and engage. That's all they do. So, frankly, the Phantom is actually really at a disadvantage here, unless you get one of the meme ones with so much acceleration that it matters. But honestly, I don't really see a big difference. Aside from the EJ. I look at the EJ, and he's always kind of considerably faster than me, even though I'm gaining on this one right now. But I'm not sure how to judge exactly how much thrust difference between these planes there is. I don't necessarily have the raw numbers in front of my fa face, or I haven't memorized them, but I know they have better engines. So, that aside, generally speaking, this is still a big stupid turn fight at the end of the day. But there's just missiles involved so that the, the big stupid turn fight can er end even faster. Distance does not give you a shield. You can't just say, oh, I'm fucking eight kilometers out, and that guy's not going to be able to do anything. No, I can still do things like this. Fox 1. Now I can reach out and shoot people at extreme ranges. And radar guided weapons are going to make this even more ridiculous. Ox! Probably should have banked to actually give that a little bit of more turn, but that looks like it's good. Well, I got a kill. And also, the, the battles are moving so quick, and it's all decided by kills, that you are basically fed into the kill ball. That's another big fucking problem. That's War Thunder in general. The battles are so quick that if you stay outside the kill ball, you will, one, not have a decisive advantage for your team and probably lose, and two, you will have the game end on you so quickly that you won't be able to get any points. So... All of this is hyper-accelerating the gameplay, and it's not to the Phantom's advantage, because the Phantom can't really survive very well and unassisted in that kind of situation. You get a, If someone gets on your ass in a Phantom, there's very little you can do about it, especially if it's a MiG-21 or a Mirage that can maneuver better than you. Third time. Was that you? Wasn't paying attention. This is how I survive War Thunder. Just get shit done. So that's why you get... Right. Martin signaled me out, probably, right? Was that it? I wasn't actually looking. The Mirages, all three matches were me. I need to actually start looking out for you. Okay, so where are we? Ten kills. Ten, ten more kills, halfway to victories. No problems there. I want to get those, uh, I want to get four kills, but we'll see what happens. The one you nearly headed on me nearly headed on earlier. Oh, okay. The F4E should have a power to weight advantage compared to the MiG-21 and Afterburners. Um Yes, because everyone talks about the Phantom being fast, but I don't see it. The MiG-21 can rocket off the runway and be up at a higher altitude that way faster than me. And then he has all the advantages. He's at he's at altitude higher than me. He has speed, and he's a manu more maneuverable plane than me. So he can turn with me up there, and I'm fucking dead. So there's nothing I can do about that. So if there is actually an advantage coded for the Phantom, it doesn't work out. This is why I keep saying top tier gameplay belongs to little light delta wing interceptors that can turn and have really, really high power-to-weight ratio, or rather really high engine uh, you know, output. They go up real fast. I'm not sure exactly how the fuck that's determined in War Thunder, but in the end, the Phantom is lagging ass behind. One day it'll probably be useful. One day, or rather, one be, be obviously competitive. Because you could still probably work the Phantom, but it's not, ob it, it's not clearly competitive. It's, I feel like I'm kind of, I'm doing all of this in a considerably, like, a visibly worse plane. There are things that they can do that I can't really do, and there's not a lot of things that I can do that they can't do. I really don't see where these planes have an edge on me. Or whether I have an edge on these planes, aside from... They're not paying the fuck attention, so I can fire like this. That looks good. 
He doesn't look like he's maneuvering terribly fucking fast. That should hit the target. No. Okay. Somebody else got him. Okay. And, uh, nope, he's breaking away, and I'm not I'm not turning with him, so I gotta fucking dip and run and hope to God he doesn't turn around fast enough. Nope. Keep going. Keep going. Now, the other Meg is probably... Yeah, well, he's turned around, so good. I actually managed to outrun him out there. I still got that missile off! Where the fuck did that come from, though? I didn't see a MiG behind me while I did that. Nope. No missile. So, hey look, MiG-21's above me. What can I do? Not a lot. Trying to get a kill, but that's about it. Thought you saw him. I didn't see him. And there are so many situations in a Phantom where if it kind of even looks a little bad, you can engage. But that's the problem. You need to engage. You need to engage. You need to attack. You need to remove enemy players from the game. You need to distract them. You need to have them running around not attacking people. You can't sit on your ass. The only problem is the Phantom has to sit on its ass or you're just going to get killed. At least with the Sparrows, I can sit on my ass less since I can kind of sit there at like eight. 10 kilometers and still probably get somewhat reliable kills. I'm expecting the Sparrows to basically just be Sidewinder Bs with, yo, know, a reliable 8 to 10 kilometer kill range if the target actually stands fucking still. But that's a lot better than what we've got. Because this is a plane that just... It doesn't really dogfight. And not in War Thunder. You can make it work in real life. You can dogfight in a Phantom in real life. It's not very, you know, it's, it's still got its major detractors, but War Thunder's gameplay just does not service this aircraft at all. I have been basically under the gun for all these little, tiny little Delta Wing interceptors since I got this fucking plane. And before that, it was all the other assholes in lower tier planes like the MiG-19. The MiG-21F, the first one, the F-13, wasn't really around very much because people hated it. So I had to deal with F-100s and MiG-19s, and that was even more painful. Now it's a different ball game because everything has... I still have to fight way more maneuverable opponents, and now they have better missiles than me to boot. Honestly, it feels like the, the Phantom actually could use a... Like a 30 to 32... Like, tier missile in comparison to the Magic. Slightly better than Magic's. Maybe side aspect locks, reliably. Actually be able to track and hit the target in side aspect, and not just, hey, you can lock onto him, but you'll never fucking hit him. Yes, Titan, pretty much. There is no patience at top two. There is absolutely no patience. You need to be at, you need to be on the target. You need to basically find the right vector, the single right vector into a fight, hit that vector, and then fucking leave before anyone turns around to shoot at you. The Phantom is a very much a in and out kind of plane. The other planes can turn inside the kill ball. That's what I call reactive. So basically, when you shoot at someone and you have someone closing in behind you, you can turn and probably stand a chance at actually facing the guy trying to come in on you from a different angle. Maybe force a head on or maybe, you know, pick up another target that way. Phantom can't do that. Ondo, you're making it sound like America should have the best planes in the game. I'm making it sound like they should have a clearly competitive fucking plane because all the other nations have competitive planes. I don't have 30G pull fucking magics. Also, hang on. I think my cat's causing trouble. Oh, I know what's going on. I know what's going on. My cat's playing with the toilet tissue again and unraveling it in the bathroom. I'll clean that up later.
you're saying what we we are just saying that America should have a competitive plane to com competition, which uh, yeah, it doesn't. What we need is a light interceptor. The F one hundred four is kind of like that, but it can't turn. You know, the F-16 would be very nice, but that's pushing the power level forward again. We need something light and can maneuver. The F-5E would be kind of nice, but eh, who's to say what actually will work? Hooray, I was standing near there where that- I totally didn't get that kill. That's a- those are P-47. Yeah, hang on! Well, Martin. Could you just stream snipe someone else, please? Go away. Go play boats or something. Jesus fucking Christ. But anyway, cat, hang on. Maybe that'll change with the F-11, but I have my doubts. The F-11 is not going to be a competitive plane at all. The F-11 is a 9.7 plane at absolute best, and it only has Sidewinder Bs. That's not a top tier solution. You're, that's not the plane. That's like a slightly like, it's, it's like a, a Fury with plus one battle rank to it. That's not going to solve the top tank, top rank problem. That, that, that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for bigger and more effective. Something. I don't know what yet, but hang on. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, just impromptu here, lighten the mood a little bit. Yeah, no. Here is Kitto. Kitto was, in fact, unra unraveling toilet paper in the bathroom and causing a mess and also riling up the dogs by just kind of making them look for... You are a tremendous troublemaker, you know that? Pat Kitty. All right, so now she's going to sit in her cage for a bit. All right. I just got a little bit more work to do, so let's take this one. You sit there for a little bit. I'm almost done. Oh, that's where it went. <laughs> I don't want her to grow. Yeah, she's getting really big. So, um, unfortunately, she's not palm-sized anymore, and she bites more. They grow up so fast. They grow up so fast. But anyway, back on the more bad games. Since today is probably going to be a bit suspect, I guess. But we're going to get to this because we're almost fucking halfway through it anyway. So, right. She can sit there because she's causing people problems. I'll feed her in a little bit after I'm done. Okay, so where the fuck are we now that I'm getting hit by missiles over and over again? Oh, at least we're winning. Okay, so, right, so, 40 play- I didn't get a single kill there, uh, five- hey, fuck you, I got another victory. Refresh that. Ah, uh, hello? One assist. That did not move at all, but we're halfway- halfway with each of these objectives. I guess I just have to wait for it to actually just refresh by itself. But anyway, so- yeah, no. The Phantom itself is a really kind of underwhelming aircraft to have at 10.3. You're up here, and it has some... It, you know, it's nice to fly. It looks cool. The only problem is it the game it belongs to the Mirage and the MiG-21 currently because they're playing the game. The Draken to an extent, but the Draken has really weird fucking problems with it. It's almost too extreme. It's like the developers designed it to be extreme with massive drawbacks. Doesn't have flares, isn't terribly fast, it can turn really well, but it bleeds literally all of its speed, and is a sitting duck in a lot of cases. So, the Draken is kind of just in the same league as the MiG-21 and the, the Mirage, but it's got so many drawbacks that it isn't as competitive. But, um, we need a turning plane. We need a, we need an F-16 or something about around the introduction of the Phantom. 
I have no idea what it could be. There's, I actually have to look out and see the advantage, like see the, the big list of things. But America needs a plane that can turn flight at top tier. Because everything's fast. It's not a question of being an energy fighter versus a turn fighter. Fucking everything can en energy fight if it wants to. But now we've reached a level of hybridization between energy and turning that the MiG-21 and the Mirage are fucking... They've got the ball and they're running out of the stadium with it. Phantom? Can't really do that. What does the Mirage have of the MiG? I think the Mirage is lighter, and also the Magics uh, are better than the R-60s. And also has the Matra, which is kind of a MiG. Vitamin cuck. <clears throat> okay. About the only thing that I was really able to do in the Phantom really well was bomb. But bombing will get you killed, and also doesn't do anything in, under normal circumstances. And also, Martin, more luck with magics in our 60s, but ha! Think about that. The MiG-21 gets four R60s. The Mirage gets two magics. You wouldn't think that they give them... Two less missiles, but make the two missiles better than the four missiles, right? They, would, they wouldn't do that, right? There's a video pass around about missile mechanics in War Thunder, and it's a billion different under-the-radar stats, and the stat cards are mostly lying to either inaccurate or just not displaying the actual valuable information. So I wouldn't be surprised if the magics are actually better. They seem better. But it's a platform problem and a weaponry problem. If we had, like, enduring confrontation on the norm, the Phantom would actually be a relatively normal site and have actual bonuses. Like, if we had realistic battle enduring confrontation with very large maps, the Phantom would be truck and bombs, you know, from England to France and back with no problems, because the other planes can't do that. The Mirage and the MiG-21 have pathetic payload options. Problem is, that doesn't fucking matter. The bomb loads for the Phantom are nice. The only problem is, they don't mean anything. You can't really utilize that in a competitive way in a realistic battle game. Are you gonna get the dragon? No? Fox 2? Fox 2? No? Okay, good. Just making sure. Box two. And... Don't see anybody at my level. Splash two. I'm gonna be on this Mirage, and I'm gonna... Hopefully no one's... It doesn't look like anybody's priming me. Somebody cover me. Uh oh Nope. Look away for five seconds. You see that. Too slow! I needed to lock that guy up and shoot him. I have to look at him to make sure that I'm actually gonna get the guy. But, I'm doing that and that takes a while. So what happens? Someone lines up on me and shoots me right in the ass. You need to be fast. Top tier gameplay is incredibly fast. And it's even faster now with the missile warning gone. I got two kills, but... That's the thing. You slow down. You stagger on a target for even a little bit, you're dead. Especially in a kill ball like that. And the Phantom does terribly in situations like that. Sure, I could have flared up and if I see the missiles coming, but I'm trying to get a kill. I'm trying to kill the target. I have to kill the target because I can't let him get away because he's a Delta Wing plane. If I miss that initial pass, I'm not going to get another pass. I'm going to have to leave and hope to God no one's behind me. We need map overhauls, and we also need overhauls and mechanics, and mechanics objectives. Yes. Yes, we do. However, Gaijin see, thinks otherwise, or is incredibly fucking slow with doing them.
So I'm waiting for next patch. I want Era 7 aircraft, and I want the Americans to be given another plane. I don't know what they could possibly get, but sweet mother of God, give us a better plane than the Phantom. Give us something. Hmm, 24. Ten, that's still taking forever, but we're going to get there. The Sparrows would be a nice addition, but I'd still have to kind of be wary about them unless they're really fucking good. I have the F F4C Phantom. Is it even worth playing it? Should I wait for the E version? No, I would say no. The C had tremendous teething problems and was not good until like half a year after it came out. But that was when the E came out too. Frankly, if you can avoid playing it, avoid playing it because it's not a good plane until you got it like half upgraded. You are going to fucking hate yourself for the majority of getting that plane upgraded. So I would say, if you can skip it comfortably, skip it comfortably. The Phantoms are not good until they're like halfway upgraded. The E wasn't even really all that good until I unlocked the Juliets. And now it's kind of acceptable, but you're still running into the same problem of MiGs and Mirages. Yes, exactly, Titan. The gameplay and realistic battle taking complete focus off the ground and also funneling us into a tiny kill box is what gives the very small, very light, very maneuverable, very reactive Delta Wing Interceptors their tremendous fucking advantage. The only, the only way the Phantom really excels is if the enemy's not looking at it. Which is... I might as well be playing a fucking biplane then. That's not a strength. That is, the enemy's not paying attention enough to actually contest me. If someone's playing, you know, playing at me and try, it wants to kill me in a MiG or a Mirage, they will probably get me, and it's not really because I'm... No, it's not entirely because I'm an awful pilot. It's mainly down to the fact that the, the Phantom can't really do very much. I could run, but the only problem is they're going to be right behind me the entire time. I could force a head on, but that's not a decisive fucking advantage. I can't really do anything to reset that engagement and actually bring that down to a fair fight. Or actually, well, not even a fair fight. A fair fight would be the fucking 50-50 coin toss that is a head on. Give, it a, give me advantages. Can't do that. The other planes, they can do that fucking all day long. Where's that lock? That locked onto his vapor trails, but that still might be good enough. Come on, baby. Really? Okay, good. Fantastic. Splash one. Sometimes the Juliets, they fuck with you. Sometimes it's really... Sometimes they, they look like they're going to hit the target, and sometimes they don't look like they're going to hit the target, and then they wind up hitting the target. So the Draken's a Sunday tuner machine. Okay. That makes sense. Box two. That looks like it's... Um... Say, Sidewinder, are you gonna get that target? Oh. I thought he was looking at me. Draken's coming at me. Or no, no, he's not. He's actually just kind of puttering away. I'd like to lock onto the dragon, please. Ooh, ooh! <laughs> See, that's kind of one of the problems with the dragon. You can turn really hard, but then you're just a sitting duck directly into the target. You slow down when you turn that much. So, you see that? What happened? I just glided in on the right vector, and no one was really prepared to do anything about me. That's the only way the Phantom excels. When nobody's paying the fuck attention. It's a great mop-up machine, but you can't get into a sustained fight or you're fucked. Oh. Oh, well. And that's the entire enemy team. All right, two kills. I'm actually alive.
But I can understand that the Draken is, you know, you can tailor the Draken to actually, ex you know, do stuff. But that's what I mean by the Draken being too extreme. You saw that, right? He banked. He banked like a motherfucker, but that's the problem. He banked and basically put his, you know, put his, you know, horizontal thrust directly into the, basically the entire airframe. And then he slowed the fuck down, but he was too slow to avoid the missile. So he basically just slammed on the brakes so he, you know, just so the missile could fucking hit him, more or less. That's too extreme. The other planes, though, they can, you know, turn acceptably and have, well, way better than the Phantom, at least. And that's the problem. That's the issue. Way better than the Phantom can and also to dodge missiles without bleeding so much energy that they slow down, actually, to become a better target. But finally, hey, I actually got, you know, kills and survived a game. Amazing. Maybe the storm's breaking now. Okay. So where are we right now? We are... 15 of 20. More or less. It's doubled for realistic battle, so 15 rounds. And then games, 6 of 10. Not bad, not bad. Top tier really isn't treating me terribly well today. Missiles also also need to be desperately reworked because some of the va these values are just fucking stupid. Really, I don't really know what the fuck's going on in terms of code, but at least with the earlier missiles, or at least you know, not exactly you know modern missiles, they produce somewhat realistic results in terms of just missiles that just come off the rail and don't do anything, which that's historically accurate. So having failures is acceptable. So, but the only problem is I don't trust all the values underneath the system that kind of aren't really all that great. Like, missile max range is not actually determined by this, this, this stat that says launch range. It's determined by another stat, which is max distance, which is how long the missile can actually exist. Which is actually longer than that distance is. Oh, 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 look at this guy with the SRAMs. Also, where the fuck did the psych tag come from? Did I miss something? Did you all make a squadron without me? JTG changed. Oh, okay. Okay, so hopefully the next patch actually gives us something good for top tier because right now I think it's just sitting there with, well, the Mirage being added in just gave the, you know, gave France a win and France needed a win, so oh well. But the MiG-21 is still sitting there happy as day and it's been that way for a while. So I'd like to see the Americans actually have a very competitive plane be put in at top tier. I don't think we're going to jump power and have an F-16A, which would be frightening, but also exactly what I want, because the F-16A can actually fucking turn, and the A model only has sidewinders, so... But maybe a little bit too much. Something at least in period right now that would actually help the Americans. So I want to see Aero 7 aircraft, because I feel like sitting here is kind of not that great. I don't want to be sitting here. I want the gameplay to be better, or I want this to continue advancing so I have an advantageous position in this, like, some way with this with the American planes that I have. Because I could grind out of the trees. I don't fucking want to. I don't have it in me right now. I'm grinding naval, and that's about it, but naval's kind of simple. It's spastic, you know, nonsense. None of it really makes any sense. You just kind of go into it and just do it. No, the chances for survival are incredibly low. It's just sheer chaos. You get your kills, you get killed, you leave, you do it again. Kind of how I'm playing it like this, but I kind of want air. I want air, I want you know realistic battle to have more complex gameplay than aerial Counter Strike, with a bomb that don't work, which is what it's been for fucking years. 
Okay, so we managed to circle around the entire formation here, which is... Hmm. We're in kind of an okay spot, but uh, this could turn south really fucking quickly if someone decides to look at me funny. Like these guys. Let's see if we can snap up this Meg. I don't like him. Unfortunately, I have X mounted. That's what I did. That That's what's fucking me up, too. I mounted X, which is swap targets, to just launch missiles without the alt, because the alt was fucking with me. Fox 2, Fox 2, where's that missile? Juliet, where's that MIG kill? That EJ might get nabbed, but this, this MIG seems to have dumped the missile. And, nope, I ain't doing that. I get a lock on the EJ. I think I probably can. Yep. That looks good. Nope. Flares. Alright. One spear left. Come on. Bring it around. Bring it around. Bring it around. Bring it around. Fox. He might be too distracted to do that. Come on. Get in there, you son of a bitch. Good, splash one. Alright, looks like I'm going guns with the MiG, so at least I got someone, and there's someone right behind me. Hi there, when did you get here? Nope, didn't pull hard enough. And, yep, I was... I'm not sure where the fuck that guy came from, but... Again, you see, focusing on kill. Trying to get kill. If I'm going to be more reactive, I'm going to have to be ducking and dodging every five fucking seconds. So the actual optimal thing is just to not jump into a situation where you're going to be encircled like that. The problem is, you don't have fucking time to wait for that. So this is what the problem is with the Phantom. You're very much, uh, I'm on this track, and I'm going to go forward. And I'm going to keep going forward. And if I need to stop, well, I guess I'm fucked. Uh, top tier is a fucking mess of just spot get the guy first it, it is a mess of the enemy just attacks and you shoot him in the face which is beginning to be just the whole fucking game at this point the enemy attacks kills someone or gets on someone's ass they expose themselves you shoot them the first to attack is the first to be exposed and usually the first to die so this looks balanced on paper, but actually it's fucking infuriating and honestly makes me just not want to play this game sometimes. Or rather all the time, really, unless there's something to do. Like right now, where we might get, you know, a tiger, which... Tiger looks cool. I might be able to hang around 9-7 if they nerf the lightning. And maybe I'll have some fun in a plane that may perform well, but also looks cool. But... I'd be complaining less if I had a Mirage and a, or a MiG-21. I would be complaining less, but I don't want to spend money on them, and I don't want to grind to them. So I'm stuck here. But you see, this is another thing as well. I own an F-89D, and I actually put in a lot of work with just the Fury. Yo, know, doing sim battles to actually get up here for the Americans. And honestly, I can say pretty clearly that while those planes were fun making all that progress, once I got up to the thing that I was trying to make progress for, it's largely disappointing. So honestly, the American tree is largely disappointing. So pick something other than Americans if you're just starting. But if you're just starting, put the fucking game down and walk away. Play check is an arcade. Get your fill for like an afternoon and leave. Don't stay here. Okay, but where are we in terms of things? What are we looking for here? Are we still just dragging ass 30? Okay. Oh, I got that. Looks like we'll get kills at the same time that we'll get wins. Oh, well. I said this once and I'll say it again. We advanced the tech way too quickly. In a way, standing on Korea was not really all that well because I really didn't, didn't I really disliked sabers and MIGs. But again, 
we were going okay with the F100. We need the game needed to be changed, but the F100 and the MiG-19 were palatable, and then they rushed the MiG-21 and the Phantom, and that's where everything went to shit. So uh, yes, Rams have changed. Really? Hmm. Did they finally stealth nerf SRAMs? Is the fun finally gone? Can I look at hunters and laugh and just haughty disdain for their suffering? For they are no longer actually in power. I fucking hate hunters. Playing the sea and trying to, you know, trying to, you know, get planes of my level and also lighter things like MiG-19s and hunters? Fucking hated hunters. Fucking hated hunters, I fucking hated hunters. MiG-19s and hunters, I hated them all. They're in the clouds, though. That's just great. Mm-hmm. All right, let's try to get a, a boresight lock on one of these guys, like that guy. Can I get that guy? I'm going to peek the cloud layer, so I might be able to get a lock. No name tag. No lock. Why? He's in the open fucking sky right in front of me. Unless he's, like, at longer than, like, I don't know, fucking... Longer than 10 kilometers? So who's this fucking magician? I'm not even getting it. A... Where did he go? Um... It seems that whoever this mysterious man was, this phantom dot, he has left. And... okay, fine. Don't know who the fuck that was, but he's gone now, apparently. I was tracking that dot and trying to get a lock or a radar ping or anything, he's fucking gone. There's a scope there. I'm gonna try to get a closer lock there, but they're all right in front of me. Why would I need the radar? Okay, 14, 14. Yes, however, Titan. Yeah, we weren't ready for them. However, it was the only way for Gaijin to continue to get more money out of the system. In the clouds. The most wonderful video game mechanic. How is he getting a lock in the fucking clouds? How the fuck did he get that? Um. So, hey, yeah, I'd like to get to lock. Um. Hello? Hi there! It's a fucking rear aspect phantom! Hello? Hi there! I swear to God, I'm gonna get on the phone with goddamn fucking Raytheon. You better get that fucking kill. I'm gonna have very fucking angry phone calls to Raytheon. That guy's going into the ground. Wow, thanks. Okay. That guy just did a barrel roll straight into the fucking ground to deny me a kill, I guess. Nope, nope, not him. The other guy. No, not the F-104, you fucking moronic goddamn sidewinder. No! The f- uh, I swear to God, the signature for the F-104 is large- arbitrarily larger than all the other planes. Just to make it harder to hit. I mean, just to make it easier to hit. I'd like to- Raytheon, I swear to fucking God. You're gonna have a really, really, really angry investor call. Good. Thanks, General Dynamics. At least the Vulcan kinda sorta did its job. Uh, 
I'm watching you, you son of a bitch. But you, yeah, now you and the F-104 can flop down next to each other. You can get on, you hit the ground and get into a fist fight. Now there's only one plane, so it looks like I'm not getting the four victories, but oh well. I would have got the four victories if that FGR didn't fly into the fucking ground. Okay, 18 kilometers. I have no idea what this man is doing, but it does not appear... It, it appears that this MiG-21 has no idea that he is being stalked. My radar actually does something nice for once, but yeah, again, I have a Sparrow. I would have shot this guy already, and he'd be fucking running, too. Is he going to roll into a head-on, or is he going for the MiG? That looks like a head-on. Poke. Sometimes I can get those. My kill, my event kill. Fox, 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 Fox. That... Uh, that's dragged itself directly into the flares. I ain't getting that. Alright, I guess it's a gun kill. Oh, hi there, missile. Who fired you? Nope, mine. Whoa! Danger close! Well, that's mine. Thank you. Nice Kodak moment, though. Good. Three. Didn't get that. I needed those kills, but... Yeah, well. Nah, we'll get the four kills eventually, I guess. It'll happen once tonight, probably. And if it doesn't, oh well, we'll win. We'll be done by the time... Well, we'll be done before we get it anyway, so, oh well, we'll have what we need. Jeez, two hours of this and I've already mentally aged. Years, it feels like. But maybe that just because it's the end of the week and I've been putting a lot of effort into exercising and just doing shit off stream. Welcome to War Thunder, there's no discharge. Can I at least go to the L Club? Uh, nope, not that. Because we're not grinding for anything. Because I already fucking have everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's nothing for me to get. I cannot attain more fun by just grinding. Which is mostly why I don't really play. I mean, I was for a while, but now I've kind of fallen off it. There's nothing to really do. So, here I am playing for event vehicles, waiting for something fun to actually show up. Okay, so, 36, 8, 2, two more kills, and two more victories. So I somehow, I need to manage two kills in two, in two wins. Well, if I win, that'll be fine. My aunt I live with used to work at Raytheon. From her stories, they were a company run like the Imperium of Man. As an Inquisition on top of the Imperium of Man, or just respect the God Emperor um, and his side, his throne made of sidewinders and other explosive devices. We can always replace you, part of the Imperium of Man. I would not be surprised. Okay. Uh, excuse me, sir. I am going to go this way. I'm going to break trends. Challenge conceptions. Hmm. 
-hmm. Actually, yeah, I was looking around and I didn't. Yep, there he is. There, there he is. I was looking around, but I guess I wasn't paying attention enough. Sorry, it's getting light. I don't even think I'm going to have time to really do... Actually, no, I'll be fine. I just have to feed the cab. we got a couple of hours. Naval's going to be a new and exciting slog because it was a new and exciting slog the last time I did this. Okay. Yep. Hmm. That guy's fucking dead. I wonder if that's that man over there. I wonder. Hmm. I wonder who that is. Could it be... Yes, it is. I fucking knew it. And now I have to run. I knew it. I, I knew it. I swear to God. If only I had a if only I had a sparrow to huck at him. I knew it. Fucking sighted him beyond visual range. I knew the radar sweeps level and then low. There was probably going to be something up there. And who else f fights like this? Hmm. Martin and I fight like this. Would he be down on the kill ball? No, because he's not a retard. Oh boy, this is a extremely high speed turn. So that friendly just shot a missile at you, Martin. Okay, now I'm out of cannon ammo and I'm probably fucked. Oh no! At least Martin didn't kill me. But you see, hey, a mirage. I almost fucking collided with that guy. But you see, hey, look, a mirage, an enemy fighting me decisively in a fucking mirage. What happened? I didn't kill him in the first head-on pass. What could I really do? I can't outturn him. He turns better than me. I tried to outrun him, but then I'm running away, not doing anything, and my team's dying horribly. What is there to do? I try to flip a head-on, try and kill him, and that's it. You can't really deal with opponents like that or any other way in the Phantom. Especially if they're something more maneuverable than you. See, I was the last person alive. I wasted so much time looking for Martin, my entire team died. 
What could I do about it? Nothing. Because I knew he was out there, and I knew he was going to cause me fucking problems, so that's why I was going, lot, or, or, going around looking for him. But, couldn't really do anything, because it took so long to fucking find him. And once I found him, I didn't kill him instantly. That's the thing. In order to be really good at top tier, you need to acquire a target, kill him, damn near instantly. Move the fuck on, and go get another target. You could also rely on your teammates, which... <laughs> um, I would also like free scratch-offs, too. I mean, you know, if I had enough of them, I'd probably get a couple, you know, wins once in a while, but they're still scratch-off cards. That's about, frankly, the teammates are essentially just as good as scratch-off cards, but you, you don't really get all that much money from them, if, even if they're good. But you might as well, you, it, it is the epitome of gambling. Your teammates may help you, or they may just ignore you. They may even steal your kills when you're actually winning. The only thing teammates are good for in this game is making the enemy think you aren't the biggest threat for a handful of seconds. Maybe a minute. This is somewhat the same story in props, but it's slower, so less to an extent. Yes, there is, and also prop planes, most of them can be very reactive, and they can actually quickly take care of one to two opponents if engaged. Up here, um, you need to do that fast. You need to do that in... Basically, you need to... It's almost like you need to guarantee two kills every time you go, you're going for one. You know what? I'm going to challenge this because I'm getting bored now and we're almost done. I only need two more victories and two kills. I'm bored, so I'm going to do something particularly chancy or stupid. Or rather, just pretend like I'm bombing, and then not. He's going to do what's called a pro gamer move. Yes, I'm going to do a Ryan Johnson. I'm going to... Subvert expectations and be a ground pounding moron. Is he actually ground pounding in that? Holy fucking shit, that is a ground pounding F104. Go pasta man. Well, that's what I'm here for. Actually, yeah, I kind of blended in with the ground pounders. I'm their escort. Fox! That looks probably good. Where's the hit, though? Okay, I didn't get him. Somebody else got him. Okay, he dodged my missile, and somebody else got that. That was a very delayed kill assist, though. This is... This Mirage is a kite. No, that's the sun, please. No. Cage on the fucking Mirage! No. I spooked the shit out of him, but no. I had it radar ranged on the fucking sun, but it still went for the Mirage. I mean, no, I radar ranged opposite that. That's what it did. I had it fucking on the Mirage, but it went after the sun still. That's what the system is designed to do. Fucking keep the Seeker from tracking the fucking sun. And other, and other fucking objects. Just get it right on the target. Yeah, I poked him. He gonna be feeling that. My mirage is probably gonna come back around. And now I'm just hopping onto other people's fucking kills at this point. I... That's dangerous. But Fox, that's incredibly dangerous. But, you know, we, ha we have a treaty here with the Japanese Air Force. That's a bastard Sidewinder. That is, I wanted to steal your kill, bro. But that's a Sidewinder that I would have been shoot out by my CO for. Because fucking friendly in the frontal arc! You dumbass! That missile gonna hit anybody? 
Target was also an EJ. Renegade EJ. Whoa. Whoa! Ah. Uh, what? What? Of all things, a wing overload. Also, I got that kill. Ah! Ah! <laughs> I also got that other kill on that fandom with that missile. How about that? Now, um... I don't know what I'm going to do now. Actually, um, it's up to the spaghetti here. I can actually distract him for a while, but he's probably going to go after the spaghetti. I don't have any miss- whoa, 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 whoa. Hang the fuck on here. He had to target him and not me, but I guess I'm counted as dead, so oh well. Nope, 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 ah, mm, mm, hmm. Maybe if I could just jerk the plane over. Just thrash around and uh-oh. Uh nope, 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 nope. Just go that way. Go that way, Phantom. That way. Ugh, 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 ugh. Eh, 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 eh. I'm going to be a th credible threat. Eh, 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 oh. Actually, it might be up to me to save the day here. Dark coldness. Wow, look at this edgy motherfucker. Hey! Hey! You! Oh, you! Oh, no. Well, unfortunately, he's still going to win because I can't get to him in time. But... Oh, you! I got one wing! I can still fight! Get back here! Hey! Hey, you! Hey! Get back here! We've lost. But next time, will be ours. And that's when Solo Wing Pixie chased an enemy fandom all the way back to his base. Okay, that's three kills and no wins. Barely scraping that four kills. Okay, that's kills. Now we just need wins or four kills. All right. How often you fly with one wing? I'm starting to think you're Israel. I managed to work some magic sometime. Sometimes, sometimes. I'm one for jet rank six in the U.S. tree. What would you recommend for what recommend to grind the F-104? Just stay on the F-86A. Well, um, do it in a premium if you can. Simulator battles are kind of weird, so if you actually want to get into sim bombing, you can actually make a shitload of RP real fucking quick. It's just going to be kind of boring, and it's also going to be you fighting the controls. So that you can do real quick um i would say the f89d but that got moved up to 77 so it's not exactly the most casual thing in the world even though you do get matches but if you fucking get the hits with that thing you're gonna make shit loads of money but you also have to pay 60 dollars for that so yeah so what i would say without spending money just find a plane you're comfortable with a top tier that'll grind it kind of acceptably and just go Because at top tier, there aren't really a whole lot of options for America to really do all that well. There's the Cougar, I suppose. The Demon, I haven't really gotten to work for me. Other people say it dominates, but it plays at the same fucking tier as the goddamn Lightning. So, dominate what? The F-104A will see you well, though. The F-104A is a, a cute little plane. It's actually very entertaining. It's a bit fucking difficult, but you just hit... hit F to go into combat flaps at any speed, and then all of a sudden you're actually really good at turning. <laughs> but honestly, I would consider, if you don't want to buy a premium, I'd actually, I'd actually consider just sitting in the F-104 for a while, or even Talisman in the F-104A, because it's, kind of, it's actually really entertaining. It just doesn't get anything good on it. 
Yes, the F-104A at 9.7 was hilarious and also broken. It was a great fucking time, but also broken as shit. The only problem is, why do that when you move the fucking lightning down? The lightning should be 10.0. That's the only sensible option, period. If it gets shot up by top-tier aircraft, that's the top-tier aircraft problem, not the fucking planes problem. That's the add more fucking planes to the game so the battle rank isn't as compressed. I hear all these fucking stories about, oh, well, you know, the developers keep saying, oh, well, it, may, it makes the matchups more boring because the, the enemy composition becomes more homogenized. Homogenize what? We're playing the same fucking three planes up here. What fucking homogenization? What what la lack of homogenization? That shit doesn't mean anything. Fox, actually, that looks kind of okay. Nope. I'm being a moron. There I was. Well, no, there go my flaps. Oh well. Oh. I didn't even get a fucking diamond on that. I saw that with my eye, but oh well. Actually, you know what? Let's take a break from the fucking fandom, because we just need a win. Let's take a break. Top tier is not treating me well today. And I'm just kind of flying haphazardly, because I don't want to fucking be here anymore. Let's go play the F-89D. Actually, you know what? Let's play the Starfighter. Let's play the Starfighter. Let's do something different. Let's change things up a bit so maybe I can actually get my win. But that actually might result in a win too, so eh? There should just be a 10.0 BR for stuff like the F-100s, Lightnings, and earlier F-104s. And then, and then 10.3 should only fight other 10.3s. Yes, it will, it's almost like there should be more space between 10.0 and 10.3. It's almost like they skipped, like... Over a decade of aviation history in order to jam the Phantom and MIG in. It's almost like that's actually causing pretty bad problems with compression and planes that shouldn't be fighting each other forced to fight each other. Hmm. It's almost like, yeah, the Phantom and the MIG were a bad idea. But we don't get to make decisions with Gaijin. They just do whatever the fuck they want. Everyone tells them, anyone with eyeballs can say this is a bad idea. But did they listen? Nope. And then people are just sitting there with... They're like, F-14 went. Well, this is what happens when you make such a big jump. People keep expecting you to make big jumps. So if they're pissed off about that, you fucking made your own grave there. Sleep in it. That's what you did. You jumped up there to get the Phantom and MiG because people wanted power, and you gave it to them. Now they want more power because it's not that great. You know why it's not that great? Because they didn't fix the fucking game around the planes. So now people just want more power to you know, to comp you know, compensate for the shitty game. So if anyone at Gaijin's pissed off that people are asking for the F-14 now, you're idiots. You did it to yourselves. Congratulations, kids. You played yourselves. Because the problem is, it's not the it's not the planes. It's not the planes at all. The planes, the technological level in uh, in, in War Thunder is actually fairly okay as long as we get radar guided missiles. Then it's perfectly fine. We don't really need to go anywhere. Problem is, the gameplay and the map design, which they are fucking dragging ass and never really want to consider actually changing. Probably because they're awful at it and they have no idea what to do, as seen by literally everything they try to do with ground. Every map that they make almost always has some problems where it ends in spawn camping because they can't really design a map properly. But this is what they're going to do. If they're not going to fix their fucking game, they have to just keep adding shit and adding shit and adding shit and adding shit and adding shit to be a distraction. To get people more novelty to play out of their broken game. That's the only way they're, that's the only way to do. That's the only way to go. That's the only way they have. 
if they're if they're, if they're upset that people aren't settling for the planes that they put in the game or any anything in the game they put in the game, it's your own damn fault. Box, that actually might track. Probably not though, because it's a B. Nope. Combat flaps. Oh, buddy boy, if I get my Vulcan on target. The problem is this is also something... The, the Starfighter is even worse at maneuvering than the fucking Phantom. Okay, well, now I've lost him in the fucking clouds. Actually, I do have him. Okay. Okay, I've got a guy, a guy by bearing, I think. Right? He's right in front of me. Okay, he's down there. I see the vapor trail. Where is he? Where the fuck is he going? Uh, then I lost him. Actually, no, he went over and up. Okay. Right, well, he ain't gonna fucking catch me, so... Hello! I am Starfighter. I am just good as you. Even though a really 10.0 aircraft, but... He's got more energy than me. Actually. Not if I go to landing flaps! I actually know he still has more energy on me. I'm gonna get hit by a missile. Yep. Yeah, that guy just came back and shot me. But oh well. Yeah, no, that, yeah, I'm still getting top-tier games, and they're still shit. F-89D! No luck there. I couldn't get my fucking gun on that Phantom. Let's go. Back down. I only need one win. Because really, you just kind of find planes that you like to roost in, and that's about it. And that will make, well, actually some money, because honestly, if they... That's not going to be enough. Actually, if they add another, uh, you know, uh, you know, Era 7 for planes, uh, I'm gonna need, uh, gonna need a bit more money, because that, I'm actually gonna get completely tapped out by that, because it's gonna be two million, it wasn't, what, what was the price of the, whatchamacallit, no, that's only gonna show me the train cost, I think it was two million, it's two million lions for a 10.3 aircraft, and then another 2 million to train the crew for it, to actually have it do anything. So I need about 4 million to actually accept another plane, I think. One million. It's a one million and a half. Actually, yeah, no. No, it's I think it's more than one million. A little bit little, a little bit over one million. One million for expert. I think it's uh, I think in both cases it's still a little higher. But around a million. A million and change, probably. Man, you're gonna sit here and just... I might as well just play the other thing. I'll get into a game faster. F-100. You know what? Let's play the F-100. You're gonna make me sit there, even though it's 7-7. You f oh, well, there you go. I already got it. I'm sitting here wondering what to do, but... Um, actually, what the... Actually, no, I need one. Um... So what? Because I died, I didn't get that? Not less than 55, not less than 48. That's where they're going to fuck me on battle activity, because I wasn't, I died. Wow. All right, fine. Got my gold going home. Well, I still got a couple things to do, and this is going to drag on a little, much, a little harder, because, yeah, top tier was treating me like shit the first time we started, but it actually started to play out nice. Now, well, now we gotta move around a little bit, little bit and maybe we'll find something to do here. Maybe we'll find something that'll actually get me my victories. But let's get, spend some time with the F-100, huh? Let's, let's see if Gramps can help me out here. It is still a really effective fucking plane. The only problem is, um, you're not the fastest thing in the sky anymore, and you don't have flares.
All right. Let's see if I remember how to do this. So we're definitely not going to be sprinting anywhere. But our main advantage over the things at this tier is we can turn. We can turn really well. We can turn well enough to fuck with MiGs and Mirages. And that's kind of the funny thing. The F-100 is kind of the plane that, um, that you would be able to use to kind of fuck with the enemy at this tier. Because America can't really feel the turn fighter. And the F-100 is actually a pretty okay turn fighter. The problem is the F-100 doesn't have... It's not advanced enough. You don't have flares and your missiles suck in comparison to theirs. Their missiles are damn near per perfect in comparison to B's and E's. So, we need a win. Let's see if we can get a win. However, we still gotta watch for these fuckers cruising around here. And, yeah, he's gonna come right at me. Actually, that whole fucking train of dudes is gonna come at me. Hey, teammates, you better get, up, get the fuck on this. Okay, the MiG... The Mirage, that guy's down. I actually might be able to get on this MiG. Hang on here. Gotta watch out for that over-G, because the, the F-100 likes to snap, it wing, snap, snap its wings at 11 Gs now. Alright, you son of a bitch. Nope. Ah. Mm. Ah, somebody got the kill. Good, I set him up for you. Haven't played the F-100 in a while, obviously because it's not the top tier plane and it's not really going to get all that many kills, but the F-100 does have a lot of advantages if you can actually maneuver the fucking plane in. The guns actually feel a whole lot more... I, I, I'm more comfortable with these guns than I am with the Vulcan. The missiles obviously don't work as well as they really need to do, you know, need to be in order to actually deal with targets at this tier. Right, I ain't gonna catch you. Boy. A lot of morons head on me. Boy, if I was suicidal, I'd have a lot of fun here. Yeah, that FGR isn't moving towards us. That mirage is burning. Alright, well, F4's coming at me. Well, he's kinda. Eh, actually, I might get a missile. You know, well, he's. Yep, yeah, right. Box. Nope, that's tracking a teammate. Yeah, he's burning. That's somebody else's kill. Oh, fuck. Ooh, no, please. And he's already dead. All right, fine. I just stood here and watched everyone die. All right, I'll take that. Flying around being a distraction. That's what can happen in, in top tier. If you're actually not really on the ball and can avoid being killed, you'll just watch the enemy team just disintegrate. Okay. I was moving my, my mouse around real fucking good. I got a crit hit on a MiG. That's it. That team collapsed like a house of cards. So maybe Gramps is giving me a bit of luck here. Have you got the French or Chinese F-100? Well, Germans have it and the Japanese have it, but not the Chinese one. The Chinese one is fucking broken, though, because it actually has Phantom Missiles. It has Sidewinder J's, which are the top Sidewinder in the game currently. Well, actually, helicopters have Limas, I think? But in terms of jets, the Js are the best, and yeah, no, the Chinese one get, just gets it arbitrarily, because grind the Chinese tree, please. We're owned by Tencent. Or rather, we do business with Tencent. Actually, I think that contract expired, though. But that, the Chinese tree is only in there because China needs to be fucking padded. F-100, not the F-104. Oh, F-100, right. No, no, I don't, because, well, the F-1, the... The French F-100 is arguably worse than this one. I think they gave it better missiles, but I'm not sure, since it only has uh, 
Sidewinder Bs, and the Chinese one is kind of in the same boat. So I have no real reason to own either of them. What the fuck, bro? You weren't supposed to point that out. China will grow larger. It's been a fucking running gag for years. I learned that in World of Tanks, like circa like 2013. Actually, I can't remember, like way back then, when, whenever they added the Chinese tree, and then they were asked why the fuck the Chinese tree is there and it didn't have upgrades for fucking ever. I think that was some, that was probably 50, uh, 2015, 2016, somewhere around there. Or rather a little bit, actually, no, earlier than that, because I was actually playing World of Tanks at that point. So it's earlier than that, somewhere around there. 2014, 15, where they kind of outright, you know, like, whatchamacallit, they were doing, um, whatchamacallit, um, who was it? Silent Stalker, right. Silent Stalker was basically talking to developers about what, what the fuck was going on with the Chinese tree, or rather he got, you know, he picked up Russian Q&A stuff, and, yeah, no, one of the developers at some point flat out said that the Chinese tree is only in there because they needed to do business in China. And that's actually a law. But they're a 9.7, so don't actually have to play against top-tier planes. This is true, but I got the F-100, the American F-100 specifically, because my grandfather used to work on these. And this is actually the skin of the squadron commander of the unit that he was actually attached to, 20th Tactical Fighter Wing. So this is the, this is the squadron leader's plane. Zilch. So, I, yeah, I kind of looked into finding this, so that was really fucking cool. But, so this is why I have this. And I grew up with my stories from my grandfather about the Air Force and the, the like, military in general. War in general. Nice, happy conversations with my grandfather. So that's where I got my appreciation for military tech and why I'm sitting here playing this awful game. But let's see what kind of trouble we can get into. Any luck with the hundo? Well, I got a really easy win, I think counted, right? I just kind of stood there and shot at things and my team killed everyone. Yep, no, that counted. All right. One more win and then we're done. So let's hope Gramps can give me a little bit of luck here. Okay, going for tit for tat seems like. Me. Yeah, tit for tat. We kill one, they kill one, we kill one. Looks like we're winning though. So I'm just gonna let this initial f furball fucking play out and then hop in there. Looks like the enemy just lost a tremendous amount of planes though. So it looks like we're we're probably gonna win this. Will we get any kills though? Is the question now. Fox! Come on, you beautiful son of a bitch. Track that F-104. Nope. Okay, then. Uh, load factor too high. Fox! There's the G-Lot. Yeah, no, that's not gonna fucking work. Alright, we're going in for guns. Hi! Got a hit! Anybody behind me? There's that one guy. And then Phantom... That guy. Right, uh, Wolf Tracks? Where the fuck was that guy? Where the fuck was he? Huh? Where the fuck is that guy? Uh... Did I get lazed by an invisible fucking target? 
He was off your three. Huh? You got a front fucking aspect lock. Actually, wait a minute. That was a teammate. Nice job, genius. He shot at the F-104. See, that's why you don't actually do that. I did it once, but, you know, I got away with it. But that's the why you don't fucking launch infrared missiles in front of teammates. But it looks like we won anyway. Yep, no, that's the game. We're good. My little bit of luck was a Gramps getting me into a game where I'm going to win, and unfortunately, he couldn't do everything. Good job, F-104. F-100D, one oh, why are you trying to catch an F-104? I was literally right behind him! I shot a hole in his plane, you dickwad! <laughs> because he was trailing an F-104 like a retard. I shot a hole in his plane! I was right behind him! I was gonna turn and probably fire another missile! Wow, pe console player. Shun him. Shun him. He has the mark of the gamepad. He is a dumbass. But hey, I got it. I also cruising at Mach. That F-104 was slow. Shun that man. Shun him, for he is a fool. But okay, jackass, you probably paid for your phantom. You can enjoy your shit game. I'm done with air. I got my medal. I'm leaving. Okay, so, pasta boats. Pasta boats. But holy shit, this is gonna take a while. Okay, so, there's that. Don't care. Billion fucking things that got... Actually, we got kill, team killed twice tonight, I think. So, oh well. Um... Now we just get to pop holes in things and, um, hope things go well. I don't think it's going to go fast, though. I think this is probably going to be a mess. And also, that's a really dumb excuse. Oh, you can't catch an F-100. You can't catch an F-104 and an F-100. The F-100 can really only go mock. 110 reliably at combat maneuvering, like in a combat situation, you're never getting Mach 2 in that plane. Never ever. Never under normal operating circumstances. So yes, an F-100 can catch an F-104 if he's maneuvering like he was. So that guy, yeah, no, that, that, that guy's just a moron. That guy's just probably one of the bigger morons in War Thunder. Gunners are searching for airborne and surface targets. Favorite. Actually, I think I pressed favorites the last time. And I didn't, it didn't actually pop up. So, you know what? Let me tick that again and see if it'll actually work out. Ding! But now I will attempt to Spaviero, which has also been kind of a regrettable purchase because it's really kind of a iffy boat to use. Though it looks like most of the enemy team spawned a destroyer, so fuck it. Nab the points. Go fast. Which I'm... Well, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to be able to do at this range, but... I might scare him, even though he is in a destroyer and will not do anything, but okay, so... Oh, great, we have one of those overpowered monstrosities on our team. Fantastic! This is the problem with going fast! Can't fucking hit anything! Ah. Uh, those look like they're going right in, but they're fucking completely missing. Oh, hello, sir. <laughs> I got him! Fuck it! That's about as much substance you get in naval. Fuck it, whatever. I just managed to just kind of... Mm, mm, and then I died horribly. Fuck it, whatever. I don't care. I got a, I got like a base capture, I got a kill, and I got some damage in. Whatever. That's about as much substance as naval deserves. Most console players are COD players and, and simps to their console overlords. I should know I was one of them. Then I got a PC, and now I don't use consoles anymore. I use consoles mainly because, well, some games come out on them that aren't on PC. But yes, um, unfortunately, when you're playing a PC game and it has crossplay, which not a lot of them have currently, but they're starting to become more common. Usually the console players 
tend to be morons. Not always, I'm not a horrible bigot, but it fucking happens way too often. How does someone might go for single-player RPGs? That they can do just fine. The RPGs are... Well, actually, well, JRPGs. Those are designed for consoles. They do perfectly fine on consoles. Some some RPGs and other games, like, say, RTS games, which we, really the only good RTS game that was ever on a fucking console was Halo Wars, and that didn't actually get any further development. There are some things that consoles cannot do. But consoles can do specific things very well. I know a former console War Thunder player. He's pretty brain dead as far as War Thunder Air goes. I am not surprised. Am I going to hit the man at any time here? I can't even see the splashes, so I'm not even going to fucking keep firing. This guy I could probably hit. And he's already fucking dead. The other experience of naval war thunder. I'm tracking this target. Oh, he's dead. Oh, he looks like he's about to come directly into my line of fire. He's dead. I have no idea where those splashes are, but I'm going to keep shooting at him because I can actually see him. Unlike everyone else, but... Hmm. Ah, here we go. That reload. Yep, welcome to Destroyers. You have you have high-octane fun and... Hey. Hey, wait a fucking second here. Wait just a goddamn fucking second here. Hey! You! What are you doing? What do you think you're doing? Sneaking around me spawn. What are you doing sneaking around me spawn? That didn't track at all. What are you doing sneaking around me spawn? Hey, he's gonna launch torpedoes. What are you doing sneaking around me spawn? That's what you're doing sneaking around me spawn. Dying. However, those torpedoes are probably going to... Uh, oh, ew, no, 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 forward, 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 forward! That's gonna hit me in the ass and I'm gonna die. Oh! Ow! Even though, how the fuck would that destroy the entire boat? Oh well. Oh well, I gotta kill. I hate destroyers anyway, no big loss. Boys, we kind of have to care, capture the capture the zones. Boy, boys, we boy, it, it kind of is dependent on, entirely on the zones, boys. Okay, well, I guess I'm just gonna have to get in here and try to fucking capture this. Wow, those torpedoes are still going. Those are some long-range fucking torpedoes. Excuse me, I'm just gonna pretend like I'm not here. Excuse, excuse me, coming through, I'm just gonna cap the point here so my team might actually win the fucking game. Oh, nope, they're shooting at me. Oh, no. Yeah, no, they're just kind of raking fire in here. That's, uh... Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. I kind of have to drive in here, though, unfortunately, because there's no other way to fucking do this. There's really no other way that I can... There's nothing I can do, really. Ow! I'm on the point! I'm going to die on the point, though. But there's really nothing I can do. I kind of have to do that. Okay, there are my boats. Why didn't I get... Actually, I can... I, I might be able to get the blap gun. Give me the blap gun. 
Oh, do I have the blap gun? No, I got the bomber. Fuck. I got the bomber variant. I don't have the 102 millimeter fucking naval howitzer. But I'm a bomber here, so maybe I can probably... I actually probably can nab one of these fucking destroyers and just kind of laugh. Gonna shoot at me. What? Your days are already numbered. Right Fuck it. I'll fly day I'll fly in. I'll make sure the bomb hits. Well, somebody got that guy. He's on fire. Oh well. Level bombers are suicidal, because what the fuck are you gonna do against that? But oh well. Navy! Moving on! Mm. So where's that favorites tab here? 27 calibers. Okay, war bonds shop. I did, none of these really help me, but... Yeah. So, um... It's not showing up, is it? No. No, it's not. What a surprise. Get star at the box on the left. Hmm. That's the right. Oh. There. Right. Okay. Oh, right. This unmarked button here that I have no idea what it does. Okay. So what do we do here? Uh, some damage. Uh, captured a point. Somehow get first place, which is something that can actually happen really easily if we keep playing arcade. Right. Unmarked interface. Things I don't care about because I'm typically you don't you don't really have to do any of this for normal gameplay because there really isn't any real reason to achievement hunting. But okay. Gunners are searching for airborne and surface targets. Back in the mess. Gunners are searching oh. for airborne and surface targets. I curse you with artillery. I will probably die, though, because I'm just fucking out here like a moron. And I immediately died. Well, I guess I shouldn't have spawned in the middle of a game. Wow. And then artillery hit for nothing, obviously. That's an endgame boat, and I died instantly. That is an endgame PT boat. Not getting that. Yeah, no, that's that, that, there's no hope there. But at the end of the day, I'm not really gonna... It, it's better if I just rush through this, don't actually use my destroyer, because the destroyer will take 50 fucking billion years and not get anything done! So you know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. We're ramming the fucker. I know where he's going, I know what he's doing. And I couldn't even get my torpedoes off in time. Oh well. Hey look, spawn camping! Great game design, Gaijin. Okay. It did absolutely nothing, but uh, that's... That's naval! Oh well! 
I get to leave without my crew being locked. And I'd like to play Realistic Battle or a game mode where my ships are actually worthwhile and last more than five minutes, but uh, those game modes don't exist. And apparently naval enduring conflict was a fucking mess, and we're probably not going to get that for a while. Gunners are searching for airborne and surface targets. But hey, I can really easy, easily cap a point here because I'm fast and no one will get down here faster. Okay, so, now to use my ridiculous speed to go cap that point, and thereby tick the box. I'm really just doing this for the missile spamming PT boat. Really, I am. I feel like getting the 40mm gift boat that you get out of this will be kind of nice for continuing to grind somewhat acceptably towards the missile spamming PT boat. Which, quite fine... You know, I just thought of something. I made a lot of money today, right? I will consider this depending on how this goes. No, no, says the man who brought a Mirage and a MiG-21 fully upgraded out of the box. But, but, but Mark, I, it's, it's so easy. Have you seen kill montages of the Seda? It's, it's, it's so easy. You just. Look at them, and they die. It's it's actually kind of nice. Boats aren't worth it. No, no, they are not. You spent ten thousand golden eagles for two boats. Actually, it'd probably be about sixteen, which is over a hundred fucking dollars. Which, well, I spent hundred dollars on less on, on less effective things. I I was shilled for shotguns and girls front line. <laughs> I got a nice tan one. Unfortunately, then wasn't abruptly f uh, you know shown that shotguns really aren't meta all that at, at all really. Okay, so. I got a base capture, right? Yes, good. Not worth it as someone who spent a shitload of money on warships. It is not worth it. Yeah, World of Warships is also a really bad game, and I also spent way too much money on that one. And then World of Tanks, and then Warplanes as well, which nobody fucking plays. Boy, if I could charge back some purchases. If I could charge back some purchases in my, like... So you know what I could do? Because fuck you, you're so fucking far away. He's still shooting at me. Ah! I wing dinged his front turret. Next World of Warplanes grind series when? Never ever. Un or rather, not for a fucking long time. I don't have the energy to grind like that anymore. I'm bothering you significantly. Ow, though. That's that. Mm, that. Mm. That's dual purpose fire. I don't want to actually get shot by that. And then I got hit by that asshole. See, other people can hit a fucking Spaviero moving full speed. I can't fucking do that, but oh well. Can I just... It'd be so easy if I could just fire a... Well, it's not a harpoon, but... It's just a big missile. Please. Damn. I'm not getting that, though. Because it costs way too fucking much. It probably... It, it would actually come out to somewhere over $100, which is why I haven't done it already.
thing you were shooting at was probably the most powerful destroyer in the game. Eh. I'm trying to get damage, and I suppose I got damage. I got my cap. I wasn't really re-engaging all that quickly. The Spaviero doesn't really... It can get really good results in terms of income and XP. The only problem is boats or gunboats are so vapid that they never really live very long, so you won't sit there and have a really good match with them any times, like, any, really in any routine way. You will just die. The PGO2 is different because the PGO2 can just l fucking light up anything that comes near it. That it could keep it alive purely because there are no opponents left to shoot it. But the Spaviero is um, a finesse machine. I also really know that not great at air. And the missile boat can shoot down air. You just look at the planes. You, you, you fire the missile and it just... There's even a proximity fuse where there kind of really shouldn't be. Damn, it'd be so easy. Time for me to vanish in order to shower and do a bit of writing before I go to bed. Go good night, right? Good night, dancing fool. I will do my best, I suppose. Even though the more I play War Thunder, the less I am actually enjoying it, because there is just too much... ...shit in the way, honestly. I suppose I'm looking for instant gratification, but... I'm not fucking getting it. And there's really not a whole lot of games that actually give me instant gratification like that. I feel fucking exhausted these days, honestly. And I feel like the more games that come out, the more I am forced to try and... It's not that Tryon's bad. Oh, great. It's one of these assholes. Can I at least kill him before he fucking murders me? Okay, good. I got an assist. It's not that I hate trying. It's just that, holy fuck. Can I, can I get an easy... Can, can I get an easy ride sometimes? Because I feel like I'm either doing absolutely nothing or trying my ass off. Like playing, you know, Iron Harvest yesterday. I don't know. Don't know why, but my heart doesn't really seem in trying to figure out, well, War Thunder at this point, but that's because War Thunder is a bad game and I really don't feel like it anyway. Maybe one day they'll give me a game that I actually will sit down and play the ever-loving shit out of. And actually learn it, it, learn its ins and outs. Perhaps one day. Haven't, haven't seen that game yet. It's probably because the, yeah, the video game industry has gone to shit currently, and we're still waiting for that shit to level out. So they winged in my radar mast, even though it's still spinning and still giving me targets. Actually, you know what I can do? Well, you, sir, you look like you're... you might be doing some things, so I'm just gonna... just gonna... just gonna... just gonna go in here. This is now my cave. You will never take my cave from me, because it is my cave. However, a console player wishes to take my cave from me. I will not actually stand by and let this aggression go, by, go unresponded to. Actually, he's fucking dead. Thanks, Udachi. So now I'm kind of just stuck here waiting, but there's more people coming, so I need to get out of this hole. Yeah, no, that Udachi's just blapping people. Alright, fine. Can I just get, like, a really big floodlight in here? I feel like this area needs it. Now we've entered the portion of the beach episode where the party goes into the cave, and therefore the plot of the beach episode is actually revealed. It's not just fan service anymore. There's actually plot here. Just a little more effort, and victory will surely be ours. I think they're out of gunboats. 
Actually, no. No, they have gunboats. They're just taking forever to actually get to us. Actually, no. That Yudachi's fast enough to actually dodge that shit. Good on you, Yudachi. And still blapped a small boat. I think there's somebody else over there, though. Nope. Well, I guess I'm playing escort here. That one got real fucking close! I got one got actually they winged ding my fucking well actually the front of the boat, but everyone's fine. Ooh. Is anyone going to mysteriously appear around that corner, though? I don't think so. Nope. That's a destroyer, and that's also a destroyer, so that Yudachi is unfortunately on its own. And unfortunately, he died horribly. I was escort for about a minute. Haha. I menacingly killed Russian reserve PT boats. And that guy died before I even got a look at him. I am now spawn camping. Ha <laughs> ha! Spawn camping. Amazing game design. 10 of 10, Gaijin. Oh, that guy's trying to kill me. Well, fuck you, I'm out of here. Uh-oh. Well, time to use these! Um... Those might actually hit. Okay, then. Well, um, guess it's time for me to belt out my destroyer. Or actually, you know, I probably should just go back in there with a fucking gunboat. Gunners are searching for airborne and surface targets. I actually need to cap the fucking point so we can win. So, you know what? Let me just go back in there real quick and just make sure this shit's done. Be gone, Avenger! Take your movie deal somewhere else! I don't know what it is, but I feel like the arcade gunsight is lying to me. At all times.
I see you, your two, you old base rusher from years past. I see you, I know your bullshit. Looks like he ain't going for me. Unfortunately, that's a destroyer, and I don't have any fucking torpedoes. So this is gonna be kind of funny. But he's probably gonna get blapped by that. Eh, well, you snooze, you lose, comrade Yorlev. Defeat, defeat, oh, Jesus Christ. But well, we won that one, so no problem there. Uh, and it's just backups. Well, at least we're actually making progress with actual, you know, actually getting things. Mm-hmm. I'm not really doing it for usability, I'm doing it to just ream all of the XP out of these boats. Hmm. Well, almost there, for that at least. And then I have to worry about the 270 RP, you know, 270,000 RP grind. Okay. One game. What, did that not count as a win? Oh, fuck you! Ah, god damn it. Destroy three enemies using a torpedo whilst controlling a naval vessel or an aircraft. Well, at least I got a torpedo kill. Um, I'm gonna get captures pretty quick, seems like. Ah, oh, this shit. Uh, the AFK detector, I suppose, is what's going to screw me out of victories. Well, 50% higher. That was 60%. The other one's not count as... Eh. How do you actively judge a mode where all you do is sail until someone is in range? Nah, man, you got to keep your APM up. Just kind of wave your fucking gun around. Like, I don't know, you're waving your dick in the breeze. Yeah, right, that's... It's it's for victory. Right. You look like you're doing your job. Burning calories. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, that's the fucking albatross. He has two of my guns. That's also an albatross. All right, he has missiles that don't work. Okay, yeah, so I'm gonna just, uh... I'm gonna be entirely real with you boys. I'm gonna just not. I'm gonna just... Hey, gun! It'd be real fucking swell if you could actually hit the fucking target. Now he's behind a rock. I'm gonna just coast. Trees! Ray wave action and the never actually hitting the fucking target I'm shooting at. Fucking hell, awful cruise. What the fuck's going on over there? But I ain't going over there. We're ahead of the enemy. Ooh. 
Oof. Can't even see him. But I know my shots should be getting fucking near him. All right. Oh, he's not even over there. He's way far away. Uh, binoculars are actually really fucking with my perception of distance. But you know what? We're going to go this way. No, not that way. What are you doing? No, do not rise out of the fucking water. Apparently, um, Gaijin said that they're actually going to allow us to actually fold up the hydrofoils on the boats so we can, we don't actually climb out of the fucking water at top speed, which is actually great. That's actually fantastic, so I don't have to fucking flail around like a moron on stilts out here waiting to get shot. Ah, that's a 96, isn't it? Fucking hit the target! Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. It's like a tank destroyer, but this game, you can't really do that reliably. Ah, you have to do something. You actually have to go out there and do something. And the moment you want to try and rush into a situation with the Spaviero, it doesn't work. You know what? Actually, I got the AP. I'll compensate with AP. Are for 120 isn't really going to overmatch PT boats all that much. I wanted to spawn over there, you dumb f ah, fucking god. Alright, well. Now we're going to be poking at these morons. Why is my rear gun reloading? Also, like, 10 seconds to splash. Great. I'm... This is... Uh, th this is snail mail. Ooh! Ooh! Oof! Good shot, Leningrad! Oof! Oof! Still overshooting. You think I have the... Hmm. Oh, there we go. There we go. There's some fucking hit. Now he's, well, exploding. That probably took out his engine. Hey, I wish I had guns that fired that fucking fast. Shrapnel damage. He's on fire, and then suddenly he wasn't on fire. Yeah, those are way the fuck off. Oh. 
And those actually look like that might get a hit if they're actually on range. And... nope. What am I doing here? I mean, they're not ranging properly, but I guess, whatchamacallit, I don't have the range, the, the manual distance, you know, manual uh, change range mounted to mouse, mounted to anything. Remember way back in the day, there was a, whatchamacallit, there's a video that suggested moving it to mouse wheel, and I think I did that a long ass time ago, but I haven't done that fuck, apparently I haven't done that here. Or I did it and it didn't fucking save. Well, any day now, AA guns. For the sake of encouragement, even though that's not how that actually goes. Where are you fucking shooting? Oh, he coming right at me. Oh. Well. Nope, too low. Too low. I didn't even look- he didn't even look like he had a fucking torpedo on him, which is the silly thing, but oh well. A yeah, this is my cruise. My cruiser shit. Well, we got most of the points, at least. But also, here's the thing, I'm gonna be, um... Kinda not that great on the, uh... The activity there, because, um... Playing a destroyer in general. In realistic, pressing select target key for X. It's also adjust the, uh, the range to target. It's already doing that automatically, I guess because it's arcade, but I'm still overshooting the target like nobody's business. It must be my crews. It must be the accuracy of my weapons via crew stats that are f screwing with me. Because I got, tra I got crews trained for air, not naval. Well, we are going to win, and that is about it. Well, I guess I'm not doing anything. This makes me laugh at the idea that destroyers and gunboats were supposed to have some kind of counterplay. Or play and counterplay. I don't see it. I see. I see destroyers being, uh, you know, liquefying, you know, smaller boats as soon as they come into range. Rather, as soon as they're actually being able, like, as soon as they come into visual of any kind, out from any behind, behind any cover at any range. Well, I guess I'm gonna suicide poke to the destroyer because what the fuck else am I gonna do? Well, he's dead. The other destroyer. Not much that not that much time left in the match. Gotta do something, get damage. I am poking him. Ah, yes, here. 
I will get below his guns, and I will poke him relentlessly. Oh no. Well, I guess I'm not poking him. Pap. <laughs> oh well, we won. 56. 46. Fuck you, I was playing the game the whole time! What the- What, because I was playing a fucking destroyer that doesn't count? No! That's fucking stupid. At least I'm getting the capture points, I guess, but that's fucking stupid. All right, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to hop out of this. We're just going to avoid the destroyers in general. Or rather, bring me back my fucking stook. Because I, honestly, I feel like I shouldn't have left 2.0. You know, Stefano. Let's try the Stefano. I really shouldn't, I, I, I really don't feel like actually going up above this, but hang on. All right. Right. Reserve play. Reserve boat. Go about your business. Because I don't want to go up anywhere near 3.0, because this just annoys the shit out of me. Anytime destroyers come into play or any of the other thing, like anything else happens, it, everything seems to go to shit. Uh, the game gets bigger and allows for destroyers. Everything fun stops for me, it seems like. Unless I'm actually already playing an end-tier vehicle, which actually can get the fucking job done because they actually have the weapon systems that can actually be effective. Like, say, the Albatross, or uh, whatchamacallit, I can't remember exactly what the fuck the German, like, the East German boat is called, but it's basically a Russian boat with, you know, the two, essentially, well, it, well, incredibly high fucking rate of fire 23 millimeter cannons. Or anything else. A naval seems like it's only really fun at the end of everything. And that pisses me off. Gunners are searching for airborne and surface targets. Isn't there a floor for the BR? Yeah, it's on it, the, the Spavier. It, I think it's 3.0, and you get up here to fight destroyers, which I don't want to do. So I feel like I'm just gonna have to skulk it down here. So I suppose my experience with naval beta was actually somewhat accurate, even if it felt, you know, even if it wasn't exactly what I ex like what I was expecting, rather how I, you know, how I should have interpreted it. Naval, it, naval on, you know, f at the start is fun. And then skipping right to the end is the best option, rather than actually playing anything through the middle tiers, because it just all, it all goes to shit. Oh, well, hello, sir. We're going this way now. Alright, see you, Warp. Okay, so now we're actually having fun because I'm fucking doing it. I'm doing things and I'm not being immediately liquidated. How about that? Actually fucking doing something. Good lord. Well, still died horribly, but oh well. At least I got a couple of kills before I actually got fucking murdered, but that's just usually- that's how usual naval goes, but hey, I have that I have backup, so I get to bring that same boat again. Boop. 
Put one 40 millimeter round into it and killed the rest of the crew. Well, his he was ammo racked before I actually my, my uh, before my torpedo actually hit him. So well. I had no control, so I kind of had to just walk into that. But again, doing more damage, and also that's a flak raft. That might be a problem. Okay, so I suppose I'm gonna t take the Stefano to just, you know, piss at people with 13 millimeter machine guns. Hope someone killed that flak raft. No, nobody killed the flak raft. Oh no. Actually. Well, I still have torpedoes, so I'm at least going to ruin his day. Gotta get the fuck out of here before he reloads. Ow. Now he's reloaded. Well, got him. One of those probably will hit him, and... And they all missed. God damn it. He driftoed, that clever bastard. Swear to God. If only I could actually somehow get to the flak raft really easily from here. But like a fool, I didn't actually grind the German tree out, because I didn't fucking want to. Those are hitting all around him, and none of them are doing any damage. Oh, he's going down. Um... So yeah, Tracers, uh... Where were you there? Um, those tracers looked well below me. See that bomb? Fuck you. Oh fuck, I still have assault fuses on. Damn it! I, I don't have assault fuses. Damn it! I forgot to turn that off! I think I'm probably at the end of my rope now, because even if this is actually kind of minorly entertaining, I think I'm just about done for this evening. My energy's spent. Or... Four and a half, five, six, seven, about eight hours of stream. I think that's probably rational for anyone to probably call it a day. Hey! Right to the fucking cockpit. You, console player. And I was immediately knocked out by someone else, oh well. Eh. <sighs> I feel like I'm falling short of naval, even though I kind of wanted to focus on naval on the stream while I was doing this, but oh well, I suppose. I'm getting air done, and then all of a sudden I'm just running out of fucking steam all the time. But oh well, I'll get this done, and then maybe we'll start with naval the next time. Or maybe I'll just... Maybe I'll just make quiet progress in the corner and not need the event pasta boat. Warthard is not healthy for the soul. And fucking how. But I think that's about it. I've got to feed my cats. I've, well, tomorrow's my day off, so you know what? It's been a long week. We did a lot today. So, oh. <laughs> oh. 
Oh. Okay. We achieved first place in one of those battles where we didn't really feel... I I, I guess I didn't... Was that... Did, what? Oh, right. No, I was that because I was so super pro. There we go. Got that. All right. I'm the best in a, in a, a losing game. After a losing game, after a losing game, after a losing game. I'll come back and do these on my own, I suppose. But, so, ladies and gentlemen, that is our show for today, I guess. I guess it, I'm mostly going to be concentrating on air for this event, because honestly, at the end of the day, really? Actually, it kind of depends, because it's weird. Because the, um, uh, I'm not exactly sure what the modification of the event vehicle is. However, there's something real fun about the Seta, even more on top of the missiles, too. So I think the, uh, whatchamacallit, I think uh, the Fulgor, I think there are the, the, the vehicle we get is a, comp is a modification of the Fulgor, which the fun thing about it is it can have three 40mm cannons, which are really neat. However, if it's the Fulgor, they're not the best 40mm cannons that we could possibly get. The Seta also has the best 40 millimeter cannons that we could possibly get. And it's not because of the guns themselves. The guns are the same. It gets radar fused HE in its 40 millimeters on top of the fucking laser beam kill anti ship missiles. This boat is a meme and I want it. I just don't want to spend fucking money for it and it takes forever to grind for it in naval. So I'm looking, I'm, now I'm thinking about it. Okay, so. Three 40 millimeter cannons. That's really nice. The only problem is, yeah, two on the what you call it. Two the two 40 millimeters on this are on you know on this ship aren't really doing me very much good. And these might be light you know later modifications. Actually, no, they're the same gun. No, no, they are the same gun. Same ammo too. What the fuck? So I'm reconsidering the worth of that pasta boat, but I will still probably try for it, and I will definitely try to get the Seda here. And I will... I will try. Scout's Honor. Try not to spend money on it, and just kind of forget everything behind. Because, I frankly, as soon as I get the Seda, I feel like it's going to be that one vehicle that I play endlessly, and, it, you know, against everything else. Stop caring about anything else. Just play the Seda and huck missiles at people in black planes. I feel like it might be one of those vehicles, which that that's fun for a while. But then again, I suppose I should remember that doesn't last and there are better uses for my money and time as well. But the Tiger at least looks cool and it's something to kill the time, I guess. But that's going to be it for me today, ladies and gentlemen. I'm rambling my ass off. So that's it. See you next week, folks. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Hope you enjoyed the show. Good night.